everyone. Hello. Welcome to Monday. It's Monday. It's tax day and I'm finishing. He is. Uh, welcome to Board Game House, uh, where three friends play board games for you guys on the internet. Uh, hello everyone out there, curmudgeon, fangirl. Happy Hatsos. birthday, curmudgeon. Happy birthday, curmudgeon. I specifically waited this long so I could tell you on the internet. <laughs> Kevin Ray, I Dragon, RBG. Did you see what Fangirl did? What? Yes, I did. <laughs> um, also, Talking Dog, you said, hello, I am here. And all I could think of was, hello, this is Dog. <laughs> Doug, shut up. No, hello, this is Dog. It's the meme with the dog at the telephone. Doesn't Doug say that in Up? No, he says, mm. I just met you hello, and Doss. I love you. Oh, I see. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, welcome to three. Uh, welcome to uh, Board Game House. Uh, tonight we are playing Raids from Yellow Games. Before we begin, a few quick announcements. Uh, if you guys missed it on Sunday, yesterday, Megan did a painting stream. Uh, it is it up did. on YouTube. Uh, she started working on some shoes for her sister-in-law, and we, she got one whole part of it done with Ariel. It looks really cute. Um, it is up on the Discord. Uh, but if you want to watch the whole thing, watch it painted. She works pretty quickly. Uh, what, what? Okay, I know. I already have the new bag, but still six months. Question <laughs> mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. Well, I mean, she had a lot of fun doing it. I was just sitting here reading chat, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we'll probably my do, tech guy. Yeah, we'll probably do that again sometime in the not too distant future. Um, because I need to get those finished. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that because we'll try to do that again. Um, grab a bit or a bite. Grade a bit. Mm. I I can't read. You cannot. Um, other things that are going on this Wednesday we're playing. Um, our homebrew campaign of D and D. Four months in a row. Thank you so much, fangirl. Four months in a row? Uh, we're playing our homebrew D&D campaign, Three Sheets to the Wind, where the three of us are player players. Um, our friend, Elda. You did it, Megan. You just e-filed your taxes. Yay! How likely are you to recommend TurboTax to a friend? <laughs> How often do you recommend programs like that, though? <laughs> Six. Uh, but yeah. Because we owe. Not as much as last year. We owe just a little bit less than we did last year. But yeah, so uh, we're playing Three Sheets to Win, our homebrew campaign of D&D. Our friend Dot in chat is our DM for that. If you haven't caught, caught in that, it is on our YouTube. Um, this Friday, we are playing another yellow game, uh, Mexico. <gasps> Mexico, it's so good. It's not originally a yellow game. Yellow kind of bought them out. And that's now redistributing it. I don't even think they're making it anymore. I don't think so either. Either way, it's a good game. It's We're going to play that. Um, next Wednesday, a week from this Wednesday, we're going to start our next uh, our next uh, legacy game. It will be Derek's birthday, and we will be playing Gloomhaven. Gloomhaven. Yeah, see, you, yeah, you actually gave them a free plug. They didn't even sponsor it. Free plug. Free plug for TurboTax. Uh, Derek, anything on Kickstarter that's exciting to you? Um, first off, I want to say special shout out to those people in France. I mean, I spent most of my day watching the the fire and everything. Okay. And while it's very interesting, it's also very sad. Like, I don't know. I didn't do a whole lot after it started. I sort of watched it on Twitter. <sighs> but that's sad. Uh, but Kickstarter... <clears throat> um, Most of the Kickstarter, like, we got hit with so many Kickstarters at once. Um, Critical Role is over on, is done on Thursday. So, if you haven't done that yet, do that. Have we done that yet? No. Okay. I, I don't think we've ever done Um... I, I have one. Was... I have one. I have one too. The Bailey Brig. Oh yeah, the tabletop. I was getting it. I was just saving it for last. Need it. 
Um, the tabletop tiles are are also until Thursday. It's the same day for both of them. I don't think it's got to five hundred thousand yet, so I don't think the it Bailey hasn't. Brig is available no. yet. It, it is though. It is though. Bobby decided Bobby to release it. it up. Oh, he whoa. posted in, in their Discord that he was gonna they, that he made it available. Well, he he said the, the Bailey Brig. The Listen. marketing director had kind of an F it attitude and decided to release it. Yeah. Anyways, so yes, the Bailey Brig is available. Um, you're lucky. Everybody's lucky. Yes. So. Why? So, if what? if if you, if you happen to see uh, DJ I'm Bobby, really, really, really happy. Uh, make sure that you tell him thank you for releasing the brig. I need it. Yo. I you can just keep it. your dice in there. I need it. Because my dice hate me and we all live in the brick. Starting at $38. Yeah. So a great price for a great product. Um, definitely check out the Wormwood. Anything else going on or is that about it? I think that's it as far as I know. I feel like there was something else I was going to talk about. I don't know what it is. Oh, well. Oh, merch. Oh, the merch store. I know that some of you were asking about tanks and crops and stuff. Those are on there now. I did edit the yoga pants so that they're now actual yoga pants. They're yoga leggings um, regularly. And because it has that extra, you know, extra little tummy. They're high waisted. Is what holster. That means. Um, tummy, tummy holster. High waisted pants from now from now on going to be called tummy holsters. Tummy holsters. I was able to put the logo in big on the front of it and the back. I thought about putting our faces on the back, but I thought it was a little weird. I don't want my face on somebody's ass. I don't, yeah, it's I don't not on their ass. It's on their lower back, like a tattoo. Like a tattoo. I don't want to be a tramp stamp either. I do. Why wouldn't you want to be a tramp stamp? <laughs> uh, Megan. We are at 343 followers, <clears throat> which means we are only seven away from our goal. And we're only... We're only halfway through the month. That's crazy. Yeah, it is literally halfway through the month. There is a possibility that halfway through this month we can hear it all. Which is thanks to all of you amazing people. Oh, I was going to say a little bit something. Oh, I've been watching The Chain, which is Matt Colville's D&D game that he has on his on the MCDM Twitch. It's great. Like, it's so much... It's like... If Critical Role is the role play side of the D D coin this is the opposite side and i just learned so much i mean i'm on the fifth episode and no spoilers but it's crazy so my lights on you so there's that i don't know where the thing it's not where it goes <laughs> that is not its correct location Shh. There, we have lights behind us. Yeah, what? you still put it back in the wrong Do location. I have a spooky morning? Spooky. Why does that have spooky. a spooky? Spooky. No, it says spooky. Why would I have had a spooky morning? What's going on? I don't know. You can't pick things up. Shh. Okay. Professionals. Right. Professionals. Starting off tonight weird? Yeah. Is yeah. It? Yes, because you called it a tummy holster. And that you wanted your face as a tramp stamp. I don't see that that's any different than a normal day for me. I mean, that's accurate, but... Um, I think that's everything we have to say. Uh, we do have a how to play for this one. It is... Five minutes and some odd seconds. Yeah, it's not, not very, very long. long. Sure. A short one. Because um, this is kind of a very pretty simple game to understand. Um, but a lot of fun. I think I got everything in it this time, too. Um, <gasps> uh... Derek, I need you to run downstairs. Pourquoi? For reasons. I don't. Okay. All I right, forgot well. the rules downstairs. <laughs> Alright, so we'll play the uh, how to play for you guys. Nope, we'll and... do it without. We're doing it live. <laughs> and we'll be back in about five minutes. Many years ago, Vikings sailed the ocean searching for new lands to conquer and monsters to defeat. Welcome to Raids! Raids is a game for two to four players from Yellow Games. Players will take turns moving their longship markers around the board, collecting the best tiles in order to gain the most glory. Will you be able to sail your longship victoriously? 
Or will you be left with no Vikings and an empty longship? Let's find out in Raids! Place the world board in the center of the table within reach of all players. Each player will choose a longship board and take the marker of the corresponding color and place it in front of them. Place the Viking pawns and coins near the board. Shuffle the voyage tiles by their backs and form face down stacks near the board. Shuffle the Voyage 1 tiles and place them face up on each of the spaces on the world board, starting with the space immediately after the harbor space. Take the starting harbor tile and place it on its corresponding space on the board. Shuffle the rest of the harbor tiles and place one face up next to each of the stacks of Voyage tiles. Return the rest of the harbor tiles to the box. Randomly choose a starting player and place your longship markers on the starting spaces from the highest number to the lowest number. Then, starting with the first player and continuing clockwise, take the number of Viking pawns indicated in the chart in the rulebook. Finally, place the number of Viking pawns equal to the number of players on each of the village spaces, and three on the visit tile. Now, you are ready to play! Raids is played over four voyages. Moving from the starting position, players will take turns claiming tiles around the world board. Each turn has two phases. Take a voyage tile and navigate. At the beginning of your turn, you will take the voyage tile your longship marker is in front of and place it either on your longship or next to it. This phase is skipped on your first turn. There are several different types of tiles that you can take. Let's take a closer look at the tiles. Weapons tiles come in either simple or double. These will help you defeat monsters that you may pass along the way. A simple weapon will reduce their strength by 1, while a double will reduce it by 2. These are placed on your ship. Sail tiles come in either simple or double. Sails will determine how many Vikings you will gain at the end of your voyages. Simple sails will let you gain 1 Viking, while double will let you gain 2. Notice the shields on these tiles. The number of shields you have is the max amount of Vikings your longship can carry. These are placed on your ship. Mjolnir tiles will come in either simple or double. Simple tiles will give you one glory point per viking on your longship at the end of the game, and the double will give you two glory points. These are placed on your ship. Pennant tiles will give you the number of glory points shown on the tile at the end of the game. These are placed on your ship. Goods tiles will give you points equal to the number listed at the end of the game if they have been sold at a port tile. These are placed on your ship until they've been sold. Once they are sold, they are kept next to your ship. Rune tiles give you glory points depending on how many you have gathered. The chart for this is in your rulebook and on the tile itself. Rune tiles are kept next to your ship. Port tiles let you sell the goods that you collect on your voyage. A simple port will let you sell one good and collect one viking, while the double lets you sell two goods and recruit one viking. Even if you can't sell a good, you can still recruit a viking like this. The port will be placed next to your ship. Monster tiles will give you the number of glory points listed at the end of the game. You can only take this tile if you successfully defeat it. To defeat a monster, you must discard the number of vikings equal to the number on the tile. This number will decrease if you have weapons on your ship. You can choose to pass the monster by sacrificing a viking. Monster tiles will be placed next to your ship. Visit tiles let you recruit one or two Vikings. When you lay this tile on the board, place three Vikings on it. The first player that passes the tile will be able to recruit two Vikings, and the second player will recruit one. Any other player to pass by it will not receive any Vikings. Finally, pillage tiles let you take either three or one value coin. When this tile is laid on the board, place a three value coin and a one value coin on it. The first player to pass the tile will take the three value coin, and the second player to pass the tile will take the one value coin. Once you have taken the voyage tile, it's time to navigate to your next location. The person who is furthest behind on the board will take the next turn. Discard all of the tiles in between you and the closest player. These tiles are no longer available for you to pass, fight, or collect. Then move your longship to the next tile that you wish to travel to. There is no limit to where you can travel to. If the next move would take you into the harbor space, place your longship on the smallest number available. 
Keep in mind that the first player to get to the harbor will be the last player to leave. You can land on the same tile as another player and begin a combat round. If you begin combat, discard one viking from your ship. Your opponent has two choices, either retaliate or flee. If they choose to retaliate, they must discard two vikings. If they choose to flee, they will immediately move to another tile. Players will take turns discarding vikings, increasing each round by one, until someone flees or does not have the vikings to discard. If you do not have a viking to discard, you cannot begin a round of combat. The round ends when all players have landed in the harbor. Once this happens, each player will take the number of vikings equal to the number of sails on their ship. Each harbor tile has a condition on it. The player who best fulfills the condition will receive a 6 value coin, 2nd place gets a 3 value coin, and 3rd place gets a 1 value coin. The 4th player will not receive anything. If there is a tie, the player who reached the harbor first will win the tie. Once you have settled the harbor tile, shuffle the tiles for the next voyage and place them face up around the board. Place vikings and coins on the pillage and visit tiles. Replace the harbor tile and place the number of vikings equal to the number of players on the village spaces. You can now begin your next voyage. Once you have completed your fourth voyage, the game is over and it is time to score. You will gain points for the amount of coins you have, the runes you have collected based on the chart in the rulebook, the number of Mjolnirs multiplied by the number of Vikings left on your longship, the numbers listed on the pennants and monsters, and the numbers listed on the goods tiles you are able to sell. The goods still on your longship do not give you glory points. The person with the most glory wins. If there is a tie, players will share the victory. And that's Raids. You can watch us play this and many other board games live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash boardgamehouse. Hello, everyone. Let me fix the camera real Hello. quick because this one doesn't like to stay for some stupid reason. Okay, this is yours. Before we start, we don't talk about this very often, but this is yours. Uh, I was thinking about it the other day. I know when we played oh, Subterra. Oh, oh, oh. What was that? <gasps> fangirl. Thank you for the bits, Fangirl. Thank you for with the, the bits. Um, <laughs> you are not Polly. I know. I'm cooler than him. Um, well, shots fired. We don't talk about this very often, but uh, if you go to bgh on twitch.com backslash whatever the game title is, um, if you just type that in, you can go to our Amazon store and purchase these games. I know that a, a bunch of people like Subterra when we played it, when you all were interested. I know uh, people were talking about Champions of Midgard when we played it on Friday. Um, but we just don't talk about that very often. But it is an option. Like, you can get this game on Amazon right now just by using that link. And if you use our link, we get a little bit of quiche. Uh, it's very little, but at least... Yeah, but we just don't talk about it that often, so I just wanted to put it out there. Actually, if you just do exclamation point now I'm playing, it's actually the link that's right there. Sure. And I think you put that... Do you put all those links on the, the YouTube? YouTube videos? Yeah. yeah. So. Hey, Arliel. Hey, Lance. Hi, Dragon Bay. <laughs> Meta Mommy. She snuck in here. Meta Mommy. Venra. Hugs to all. Felix, actually talking in chat. Who are you? Oh, right. I talk... I talked to your mom earlier and asked how you were doing, Felix. We miss you. Um, so we want to talk about how amazing these components, components are. Yeah, it's really pretty great. Um, the game was like 40 bucks I, when we got it at Gen Con last year. It was. Um, I'm not sure how much it is now, to be honest. But, like, these Viking guys are like... Laser cut wood, pretty legit. They're they're thick old meeples. Um, these coins, the coins are the best. Part. Are like they're actual metal coins. They're pretty great. They're they're it's a very light engraving on the coins, but I mean it's still they're metal coins that you come that come. Look and it's that. actual like and they're. Listen and this is standard. Like these aren't like Kickstarter yeah, exclusive. Aren't, this is just comes with, with what comes in the game. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, and the rest, the the tiles, it's thick tiles. Yeah, they're. I mean, it's pretty legit stuff. They're really nice. But for nice. forty dollars, this is a. These are really great components for forty dollars. Yeah. And you have 
of cute little ships. All right. So if one of our mods would put exclamation point random in the chat so we know who goes first. Isn't it like the tuffing, toughest Viking? No, it's actually random. I mean, if you want me to go okay, first, That's okay, Mommy. Hey! It's me! It's me. So, okay, it's what is it? I wonder what the next rounds are going to be. Okay, so the next rounds, I'm going to have to look in the rules, because... What are you doing? Just getting stuff. I had already done all this. Oh, just so I can put my Viking oh. chip out of Okay. Here, okay, let me okay, do this. Okay, let me okay. move this way so you can actually put yours. Down. Okay, so those, so this one is whoever has the most different goods is going to be round two. Um, then round three is going to be the number of ports, whoever has the most ports. And round four is going to be whoever has the most total goods tiles. Remind me, what's a port? A port, a port is not um, out here. It's not out here. It will come out in okay. round two. It is where, but you, it's sell where you can sell your goods. Got it. So if you're going first, it means you get one meeple. I get a I meeple. Get two and Derek gets two. Yeah, yeah. Meeples. All right. And then we'll do this randomly. Let's just go in a circle. No. For that? Oh. Well, actually, they can just do this. Do Megan picks. Or I speak support Megan picks. Uh, so we found out. Oh, oh hey! Oh, oh hey! Why, why, why do you why do you type it in there like that's something new? We know when you've come in here, hey. it's just to say hey, bye. <laughs> no, it is for him to say hi, bye, and for us to give him crap. And Stephen will go last. And are we not using our new? I mean, thing? I still love you. Mm -hmm. However, we have a thing. We have a thing. We have a thing. What kind of thing? I'm waiting on. You're gonna like this channel. It's the happy channel, right? Mm -hmm. You'll like this one. It's what I would, if you listen to my stream at all, that's all that played. So we now do have music we're gonna play in the whew, bro, background. This house music is my chill shit. It's good stuff. It really is. It's good. If I'm in a mood, I just pop on some house music and it calms me the fuck down, man. Well, you have access to this now. And it's all just yeah. this kind of stuff. But yeah, so uh um, it should, it'll pop up, yeah, yeah it pops it up in the chat. It's from Pretzel Rocks. Yeah, and you're, you can actually download the app, and like, this is a subscription service, but they have a bunch of stuff, like, 70% of the, the funds go towards, uh, go towards the actual artist, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, and but it's Pretzel Rock. It is, this is, this is actually specifically made for Twitch. Yep. Everything it, we're playing, we can play without. This is actually an app hosted by Streamlabs. Yep. So everything is is cool to use. Uh, so. but either way, uh, let us know as far as the audio levels go, as far as <laughs> if the music is too loud or. This music can never be too loud. Well, I'm saying as far as versus our voices. They don't need to hear it. It's though. a bit loud at the moment. Okay, I was hearing okay. the same no, no. thing. No, no, but... that's, that's, well, you turned it on over there, but I turned it on for them. Oh, okay. You turned it on for so this day. All right, I just turned it down a little bit. Let me know if it's still too loud. Make sure that, you know, you guys aren't, like, hearing double, too, because we have it playing for us, so we don't. They shouldn't be hearing double. Ugh, that juicy pad. Okay. Is that a little bit better, guys? You guys can talk to me while Megan takes her turn. I go third, yeah. so. Let me know if it's still too loud, and I'll turn it down a little bit more. We turn it down here if you want a couple of notches. No, I'm good. I just want to make sure that they can't hear it. Alright, that line is much better. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to... Alright, so that good, louder, softer, or just leave where it is. See, you're not even going to be here. Stop complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to just a hair more. I'm going to go to the axe. There you go. <laughs> no, you can stay if you want. Hi, shadowing for you. Yes, hello, hello. But you piecing, you, in, you piecing in and piecing out just means that eventually when you do stay, it'll be a big deal. <laughs> 
did you did you see what they said when they came in? Yeah. <laughs> did you see what Shadowing for you said when they came in? Mm-hmm. They said hello, dis- or slips in through a portal. Hello, disappointment has arrived. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking. We were actually talking about you on Friday, Shadowing, because we we missed because we said something about somebody causing a riot or something. Oh yes. Hi, Mrs. Valley. Go to rehearsal. Yeah. Uh, Derek was ready to rage, and he didn't really actually start his ra- to start his riot for him. Oh, I'm gonna stop at the shields. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Steven? Okay, Derek? That just means I can have more Vikings, right? Yeah, you this get will one. get you. This will get you a Viking at the end of the round. Uh-huh. And the shields are how and many. And the shields Vikings are how many Vikings, Vikings you can have when you're. Got it. He did not have a riot, buddy. It was very funny. So if I fight you, I have to get rid of one, and then I have to get rid of two if I want to stay there. Sure. But then if you want to try to overthrow me, you have to have three, so you can't necessarily yeah. do that. I'm going to stop here at the X. So he's going to fight you. Yeah. Well, I can't do anything, so... Because he's a jerk. So I guess I'll go here. Okay. I'm going to go here. That goes on your ship. Oh yeah, sorry. I don't feel like I'm gonna get anything. Hope it. I get the goods. Yeah. Meow meow. Meow meow. You only start riots for Team Steven. That's right. <laughs> he has to move on. Oh, sorry. You have to move on. Hi, yes. Please let me have tiles. Hi, yes. The official war manager. I think you mean warmonger. Uh, well, I'm going to have to get rid of this guy because I have to go past it. We live right next to a very small section of wooded area. Mm-hmm. It's not woods because it's too small of an area to be considered woods, but... Oh my gosh, I have to post in the Discord. We have the prettiest nest. So to fight him, it would cost you three. Well, it would cost him two. Two. Oh, so I can't do it. No, but you do have to sacrifice a, a guy. So he goes away, though. After yes. two people. He will go away. Yeah, he goes away on her turn, technically. He'll go away oh. on my turn. Okay. Because it's looking like I'm but going... But you need to get back uh, I can't stop there. So okay, keep going. Aw, my uh, grandparents always have ferns on their porch and they always get birds in their ferns. Okay, you keep going. But... I don't want them barrels, but I want stuff with the sheep. Okay. Alright, so these two go away. Mm-hmm. We haven't had to do that yet. Um, so I get to take this. But it's the prettiest little nest. I'm pretty sure that it's like a wren or something. Well, under the porch? Yes. It's so... It, have you actually looked at it? No, because they flew up my face. It, they, they built... Okay, so there was a regular nest there. And... There was a regular nest there. And they built around it. So now it's like... Actually... 
like covered, mm. and they've got mm -hmm. moss and stuff around the side. Here, I'm gonna show you a picture. It's so pretty. Um, it looks like a little a little hobbit hole. And then I'm going to. You have to move on. I know. I'm fading where I wanna go. So I'm actually going to go ahead and defeat this guy. So it takes two of my guys to defeat him because I have a, an axe. And then I go on and I am the first one. Huh. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Megan? I'll post it in the Discord later. Oh, piggy the piggies. Piggy piggy piggies. I don't find that. Too many goods. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go to... Um, no. You could. This means you don't get any when you straight your next turn. Yeah. Okay, so that goes away. Mm -hmm. Sheeps. Sheeps go at the back of the boat. I love sitting around a good fire pit. We're getting. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Valley. There's a. There's actually a whole playlist that is uh, retro video game music that they've like turned into dance music and it's amazing. It's first in last out, right? Correct. Yes. We felt like it made a little, it made it, especially when we get some games where we have super dead space, it makes it a little easier and not so like... <laughs> No, it's not very Vikingly, but this is actually, even though it's a Viking based game, it's not a heavy game per se. Yeah, it's a light game, and it's. Take it. Honestly, it's cute. Except for, you know, the giant puppy that tries to kill everyone. Oh, uh, Fenrir? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, first one in gets six coins, or a six value coin. The second one in gets a three value coin, and the last one in gets a one value coin. So, something else about these components when it comes to the coins, is they give you the exact amount of coins that can be gained within the game. So you'll never, it's never gonna be a thing where you like, you run out or anything. You forgot a word there, Shadowing. Yet. You'll know when. There's another log in the fire. when you parked your boat wheel. You parked your boat wheel. I parked first. You guys didn't match up to mine. Um, because you parked weird. I backed into you the backed space. In. You backed into the space? Yes, that way I can pull out. The wind doesn't blow from inside the port. Okay, first of all, these are not... The reason why you have to have Vikings is because these are rows. They have paddles on the side. Do you see these things right here? Those are sails, yes. They grab the wind okay. and they propel the boat forward. And someone sits in the back and steers. Okay. So everybody who has room on their boat also gets a Viking if you have sails. Yeah, I, don't, boy. I don't have any room on my boat. And I have no sails. We need to refresh all the things. Refresh all the things. Three. 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 And three. No one coin. So the end of this is goods. Goods. Most different goods. Yeah, different goods. Sh shadowing. Within reason. If you take the joke too far and they tell you to stop, you need to stop. But don't get on to him before he has even done anything. No, no, he said, okay, so he's the mods can't get mad at me if I tell him. At the end of the day, believe it or not, what the mods say in this chat goes, and I will not overrule them at any point in time. So if a mod asks you to stop doing something or they ask you to, like, change the way you do, like, you behave, listen to the mods. Because they run the chat. And in the chat. you can't sit there and try to say, hey, Megan, can you talk to mods? No, that's not how this works. So, 
Don't be a party pooper. Our mods are fantastic. They are wonderful. And we 1,000% support them and everything. Fuck off. Did you take the dragon? Yep. Dragon so good? Yep. There's a double up there. I was going to be nice and let Derek have that one. Remember that. Josephine? Yes. But I can't stop there. So I'm going to... Move. This so it's goods that you have sold or not, right? Correct. Okay. To here. See me on now. Um, nope, it's my turn. Yeah, he's so done. Oh, I should've done something else. I should've done something else, because of what he just did. If I would've passed that, he could've gone there. Oh, that's true. Here. So we're turning to sell. Piggies. Selling the piggies. Now it's your turn. This is a rage inducing game because Derek is a complete and total jerk playing this game. If you stay in last place, you can just take the other people's shit. Now you're trying to get to take them with. Meow meow. That means this goes away. Yep. Sheeps. I don't need sheeps, I already have sheeps. Sheeps goes away. <laughs> huh? Why are you doing that? I passed it. Two people passed it. Yeah, you don't do it until the beginning of the next person's turn. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Push that away. I don't know what that was. Hmm. I haven't been watching the chat. I'm sorry, guys. If you've been talking to me, I have not even been looking at the chat. It was a long day. I'm sorry. So. Why did you move me? Oh. Where were you at? I was on this or Yeah, there. <laughs> like that last one. It has been a long day. I want to move on. You have to keep moving. I have three guys with no axes, so I can't fight it. You cannot fight it. So I have to give up one. Yep. Mm -hmm. Uh. all this biz at the end because I don't need it.
I can get rid of two, two. people, mm -hmm. and then you have to leave. Yes. <laughs> Why are you just blinking at me? Because I told you to remember that I passed that up specifically for you. Sure, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. That would have been me. Do you monsters go away as well? I monsters yep. go away as well. Nice. That was yours, Megan. Oh, that is mine. Oh, I thought I could have fought that guy. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Mm -hmm. okay. Megan, uh, yeah, she had three guys. I had three guys. Oh. Alright, so I'm selling these to you. And then grab the anchor. Grab the anchor and By the way, they'll give you an extra guy too. One, two, point, they do! Did you get an extra guy for yours? No! Oh, I could have fought. Damn it. Take your thing. Take your Alright, number of goods. I got two. Megan has. I have two. Two. Um, I win the tie. Yep, because she went to port first. She went to port last. No, she went to port before you. Before you, and you and I are tied. Oh, I'm the pink one. So Derek gets a three, and I get a one. Now we're looking at Anko. Whoever has the most ports. Paul Anko. Okay, let's see what we got. Meow meow. Monker. Oh, puke. Oh, puke. Okay. Oh, ba 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 The monsters this time are krakens. They are krakens. Uh, I get to go first. Well, hang on. Oh, I'm sorry. not done. Can you get... I get two boys. Two boys. Oh. I get two boys. Um, yep. Oh, I keep going. Mm -hmm. You get two there. Okay. Megan. Okay. Moonshine. We should probably narrate our turns better. Probably. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to... You don't get to vote on who wins Talking Dog. I think you can vote. I like your vote. Your vote affects the score none. <sighs> okay, um... Maybe they sprayed something because there's flags out. I'm sorry, guys. 
Our neighbor's yard has white stuff in it. Maybe they're putting in a pool. And I'm worried it's like fungusy. No, it's but not I'm, even sprayed. But now I'm seeing that there are flags, so it looks like they sprayed for something. I think I'm going to travel really far. Sorry, Stephen. I'm going to go here, and I'm actually going to fight the Kraken. Fight the Kraken. F -f -f fight the power. Mm. You've got to fight the power. Mm. Come join us. <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot of people that would have been doing a four minute challenge. Okay. Sell my sheets. Oh, I skip, I go. Do I still get a guy even if the I don't have anything to sell? You would get a guy, but it's gonna cost yes. you it's gonna cost you what you would get out of it. So the only way to do that would just be a dick. Basically. I was just asking a question. I didn't need the sass. You deserved the sass though. Because of the question that you asked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was just asking. They all look off the they look off the port valve and they just scream at you. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah, no. Identical bearded men screaming at you. No one said fire. No one said fire. Yeah, Meta Mommy said fire. Not yet. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna go. I don't know. Honestly, I watched the French news feed literally all day. But everybody was freaking out, and I did some Keep research, and this is actually the third time that it's burnt down. One, a long time ago, during World War II, it was shelled and burnt down, and now, now, it's been rebuilt before. It's just, this was really bad. And fight! all of your guys. You don't get to take it yet. It's still my turn. You don't get to take it yet. You are an over-eager person. <sighs> okay, your turn. When I, when I read that they were sending in firemen God, specifically to save the art, I was like, ugh. Oh. 
That's so cool. Yeah. All, all of the statues. That's true. Or, I mean, yeah. Honestly, I was watching, I was watching the whole time and every time something new caught fire, I was yelling at the firefighters. When that, when the right tower caught, I was yelling at the guy and he turned around and he started spraying it. So I feel like I helped a little bit. <laughs> It's still I'm her not, turn. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not done oh, yet. I'm sorry. and your guy. Okay, I only have one port, so I came in last. I have two. Two. I have two. two. So Derek gets the six, you get the three, I get the one. Last turn she had nine. I counted everybody's coins at the end of last, at the beginning of last turn. How many coins does everybody have? You only have three coins. Why do you only have three coins? Because you guys took that one thing over there. That's right. Oh wait, I should have one more coin then. I should have one from the last round. Wait, no, because we're getting ready to start. Round four. Round four. So we should have three coins. I got six the first round. Everyone should have at least three. And then some of us got additional. At least two of us so, yeah, got additional. So yeah, I have five. I have five. You have five? Yeah. So you're missing a coin. Yes. No. Yes, you are. If he's missing a coin too. He only has three coins. Yeah, but we got our two, our other two from stopping at the. I only walked, stopped by one of them. I stopped by the other one. Oh, so you get a one, and Megan gets a one. I know I get a one. Yeah. For ending this round, and Steven yeah. gets a one for hitting that last chosen one. I think. I'm not even sure that's even right. I'm not sure either. We'll find out because there's only enough points for... We'll, we'll find out. We'll just know that you all just took extra one. There should be a six, a three, and a one. But... There are two ones left, so I'm... Or two threes left, so I'm confused. Then somebody didn't take a three. Well, no, it's a six, a three, and a one. No, nope, there should be. So one of us took an extra coin. So you did take your coin. I bet I round. did take it. Yeah, I bet I did. I put it back. I don't like this song as much. I do. Oh, wait. Bye, RB. 
Luigi. Wrestling with your cousin. Have fun with that. <clears throat> All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Three, two, three, we get. And then I That's two points at the end. If you're wondering what, what a pin it is. Mm -hmm. And just throwing this out there, just so you know, at this point, your sales mean nothing. Because we don't have another round, so you're not going to get extra guys again. Sure. And the number of guys you have on your boat at the end do not, do not make a difference. And unless, you have, unless you have meow meows. I will stop there. Mew oh, is that? Meow meows are per points. Yeah, you double however many gotcha. you end with. Did we decide what this is? Number of total goods. Total goods. Both sold and unsold. I think so, yes. Now who's being an asshole? Me. I, I, hope, you, I hope your boat sinks to the ground. I get one to come out of this. Three there, plus this, so that's three. 
basically. What's happening? Wait, I'm not doing this. I'm doing here today. If you're new out there, we're Board Game House. We play board games on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. On Mondays and Fridays, we play normal board games like Raids here from Yellow Game. And on Wednesdays, we go back and forth between playing our homebrew DD campaign, Three Sheets to the Wind, and our uh, uh, and playing Legacy games. Turn. I didn't think everybody was going to be an asshole in the last round. You've been kind of a jerk for the entire game. So. Yeah, but not in the last round. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you, Shadowing and uh, Venra. Um, so I have a choice to make. Either I lose a guy here. Two guys here. Either I lose both of my guys here. I get no points at the end. You want meow meows. Mm -hmm. I will roll up here and lose a guy to take the double meow meows. The math doesn't quite work out, but okay. Okay, well, I'm not really sure what to do. I guess you two resolve your. I mean, I have no choice. I have to move on. on. So I'm going to take. This switch between another guy. Okay. And what I was looking at at in these rules is that you do get at the end of your voyage, you get to you oh. get to collect. But you all had already gotten rid of your stuff, so. Well, so Which is why this. I was kind of a jerk at the end. Because <clears throat> I wanted that eight points. Okay. And I hadn't been a jerk for the rest of the game. <sighs> okay! I lost. Points! Mm -hmm. 
even know. You have like 16 have points sitting there in yeah. runes. You do. Okay. Coins! Wait, how many goods does everybody have? Three, two. I have four. So, you get six, you get three, I get one. Runes! I have four, so I get ten points for that. Runes? I get sixteen points. Okay. Mule mirrors? I got none. I get eight points for it. I get three. Penance, goods, and monsters? I'm gonna need a calculator. I don't count the piggies if I didn't drive it. Yes. All right. So I have my score. Okay. I went in first. 49. 51. 67. Many wins round one. Ugh. All right. Good. So we should play the how to play again because it's a quick one and so that way we can reset up this stuff. Oh, wait. What? Wait, hang on. So. You won either way. 15, I'm making sure. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, plus millimeters, 8, plus 3, plus 6, plus 6, plus 5, plus 6, plus 5, plus 4, plus 5, plus 4. 71. Great. Alright, yeah. so we'll play the hot play again and then we'll come back and play a round two of arrays. So I'm gonna mute the music real quick. Actually I'm just gonna pause the music. Pause that music. And we'll be right back. Many years ago, Vikings sailed the ocean searching for new lands to conquer and monsters to defeat. Welcome to Raids! Raids is a game for two to four players from Yellow Games. Players will take turns moving their longship markers around the board, collecting the best tiles in order to gain the most glory. Will you be able to sail your longship victoriously? Or will you be left with no Vikings and an empty longship? Let's find out in Raids! Place the world board in the center of the table within reach of all players. Each player will choose a longship board and take the marker of the corresponding color and place it in front of them. Place the Viking pawns and coins near the board. Shuffle the voyage tiles by their backs and form face down stacks near the board. Shuffle the voyage one tiles and place them face up on each of the spaces on the world board, starting with the space immediately after the harbor space. Take the starting harbor tile and place it on its corresponding space on the board. Shuffle the rest of the harbor tiles and place one face up next to each of the stacks of voyage tiles. Return the rest of the harbor tiles to the box. Randomly choose a starting player and place your longship markers on the starting spaces from the highest number to the lowest number. Then, starting with the first player and continuing clockwise, take the number of Viking pawns indicated in the chart in the rulebook. Finally, place the number of Viking pawns equal to the number of players on each of the village spaces and three on the visit tile. Now, you are ready to play! Raids is played over four voyages. Moving from the starting position, players will take turns claiming tiles around the world board. Each turn has two phases. 
take a voyage tile and navigate. At the beginning of your turn, you will take the voyage tile your longship marker is in front of and place it either on your longship or next to it. This phase is skipped on your first turn. There are several different types of tiles that you can take. Let's take a closer look at the tiles. Weapons tiles come in either simple or double. These will help you defeat monsters that you may pass along the way. A simple weapon will reduce their strength by one, while a double will reduce it by two. These are placed on your ship. Sail tiles come in either simple or double. Sails will determine how many Vikings you will gain at the end of your voyages. Simple sails will let you gain one Viking, while double will let you gain two. Notice the shields on these tiles. The number of shields you have is the max amount of Vikings your longship can carry. These are placed on your ship. Mjolnir tiles will come in either simple or double. Simple tiles will give you one glory point per Viking on your longship at the end of the game, and the double will give you two glory points. These are placed on your ship. Pennant tiles will give you the number of glory points shown on the tile at the end of the game. These are placed on your ship. Goods tiles will give you points equal to the number listed at the end of the game if they have been sold at a port tile. These are placed on your ship until they have been sold. Once they are sold, they are kept next to your ship. Rune tiles give you glory points depending on how many you have gathered. The chart for this is in your rulebook and on the tile itself. Rune tiles are kept next to your ship. Port tiles let you sell the goods that you collect on your voyage. A simple port will let you sell one good and collect one Viking, while the double lets you sell two goods and recruit one Viking. Even if you can't sell a good, you can still recruit a Viking like this. The port will be placed next to your ship. Monster tiles will give you the number of glory points listed at the end of the game. You can only take this tile if you successfully defeat it. To defeat a monster, you must discard the number of Vikings equal to the number on the tile. This number will decrease if you have weapons on your ship. You can choose to pass the monster by sacrificing a Viking. Monster tiles will be placed next to your ship. Visit tiles let you recruit one or two Vikings. When you lay this tile on the board, place three Vikings on it. The first player that passes the tile will be able to recruit two Vikings, and the second player will recruit one. Any other player to pass by it will not receive any Vikings. Finally, pillage tiles let you take either three or one value coin. When this tile is laid on the board, place a three value coin and a one value coin on it. The first player to pass the tile will take the three value coin, and the second player to pass the tile will take the one value coin. Once you have taken the voyage tile, it's time to navigate to your next location. The person who is furthest behind on the board will take the next turn. Discard all of the tiles in between you and the closest player. These tiles are no longer available for you to pass, fight, or collect. Then, move your longship to the next tile that you wish to travel to. There is no limit to where you can travel to. If the next move would take you into the harbor space, place your longship on the smallest number available. Keep in mind that the first player to get to the harbor will be the last player to leave. You can land on the same tile as another player and begin a combat round. If you begin combat, discard one Viking from your ship. Your opponent has two choices, either retaliate or flee. If they choose to retaliate, they must discard two Vikings. If they choose to flee, they will immediately move to another tile. Players will take turns discarding Vikings, increasing each round by one, until someone flees or does not have the Vikings to discard. If you do not have a Viking to discard, you cannot begin a round of combat. The round ends when all players have landed in the harbor. Once this happens, each player will take the number of Vikings equal to the number of sails on their ship. Each harbor tile has a condition on it. The player who best fulfills the condition will receive a 6 value coin, 2nd place gets a 3 value coin, and 3rd place gets a 1 value coin. The 4th player will not receive anything. If there is a tie, the player who reached the harbor first will win the tie. Once you have settled the harbor tile, shuffle the tiles for the next voyage and place them face up around the board. Place Vikings and coins on the pillage and visit tiles. Replace the harbor tile and place the number of Vikings equal to the number of players on the village spaces. You can now begin your next voyage. Once you have completed your fourth voyage, the game is over and it is time to score. 
You will gain points for the amount of coins you have, the runes you have collected based on the chart in the rulebook, the number of Mjolnirs multiplied by the number of Vikings left on your longship, the numbers listed on the pennants and monsters, and the numbers listed on the goods tiles you are able to sell. The goods still on your longship do not give you glory points. The person with the most glory wins. If there is a tie, players will share the victory. And that's Raids. You can watch us play this and many other board games live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv slash boardgamehouse. Alright, we are back. We back. We stood up for round two. You want to turn it down? We can turn it down. Okay. You like the new ending to how it plays? <laughs> You're welcome. Yay! She needs the announcement. Huh? So you can catch. I know, that was my idea. Actually, it's Jesus' idea. But I had already made the thing up. For the record, I said that we should do that when we very first started telling the how it plays. Okay, so it was your idea. But we decided not to do it. Okay. <laughs> um, you just, go first, Megan. Just FYI. Sometimes FYI can be a nice thing, and sometimes it's really sassy. I use it a lot at work, and I, when I go back and reread messages, I feel bad, but then I think if they had a problem with it, they would have fired me already, so... I haven't even looked at these things yet. I have no strategy. Hmm. <laughs> I skip my first. I skip the first two tiles. I'm gonna narrate my turns for two turns, and then I'll forget. And then you forget. Let me get that guy. Dang. He goes away. You don't want to fight. So is this? Is the three? Mm -hmm. It doesn't go away. Yeah, I skipped it. You skipped it. Oh. Well. That's fine. It'll be the beginning of my turn anyway. Gosh, I haven't had a reds or like an angry orchard and I- I fight him. I kill him. I can't tell you how long. Where are you going? Uh, you have to keep going. Oh. Come again. Like the sheep. I used to love cider. I mean, I guess I still would enjoy it. But I haven't had it in a long time. But I do know that if I do go to drink it, I don't want Reds or Angry Orchard. I would like a craft cider. Support the little guy. Oh, I fought the Fenrir. So it lasted one round. <laughs> they don't seem entertained. <laughs> if you have questions about the game, ask them. And don't forget, that it's a very easy game and it has great components and it's available on Amazon using our link. Thank you, Minamon, for putting that in there. That's bgh on twitch.com slash raids. I have this working in my head. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I accept. This wasn't what I was expecting. You okay over there? Sure. Okay. Suck an egg! This is... The story of a girl who cried a river and drowned in a well. Then she left so good in photographs. Absolutely love her when she smiles. Why'd you stop music? Stop. Fangirl says you should sing more. You have a pretty voice. What? When did I sing? I haven't sang. Literally just now. What was I singing? Story of a girl. Oh. Mm. So, I do it subconsciously. Don't even know. I paid more to make the music. I think they do just keep it. I want the piggies. I take both. I take them. Uh, I would like piggies. Piggies, please. But I wanted piggies. I got confused of what brand we were on. You took my piggies for no reason? Yup. Yup, yup, yup. You can go to that tail. Not the one Steven's on, the other one. No. Although I like how Steven is facing the rest of us, like, bring it. <laughs> You've already been in comfy clothes. You've been home. Is that not the first thing that you do? Because that's the first thing I do. Wait. Let's go change into comfy clothes. <laughs> hey, G. Whoa. Can you wait until the end of the round, please? Sorry. Round brow. Round brow. Round brow. Homeowners for Association. Three months in a row. <gasps> you get a wreath. It can look like whatever you want. If you want to put my face on it, that's fine. They're already taking this because he's a butthead. Mm -hmm. Um, and excuse me. I get. How am I your... the butthead? I didn't. Because you took your coin early. Yeah, but you all both screwed me out of ports when you didn't have any goods. And I had the goods. Last game? I think we're all even. Last game? Yeah, I think we're all even, Steven. I don't think so, because you screwed me out of so many yeah, things. Yeah, but calling so me a jerk child. for taking my coin early does not equivalate. It does. No, it does not to you screwing me out of yes, port points. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That was last game. And you were, you were shenanigan in everybody. I'll shagane wherever I want. Well, then don't get mad when people shagane you back. Don't dish it if you can't take it. You're saying. Is that in the right stack? Hmm. Met a mommy and fangirl. I know that there's one of these somewhere. 
Hmm? Is there more? Nope. No, they've coined the scent. Hmm. Is that it? Hmm? Okay. Can I go first? You do. Did you take your guy for? I did. Okay. Are you good? Oh, okay. Um. Um. Shield Maiden is the next cosplay, according to Eye Dragon. why we're waiting. Because of the way it says to do it in the rules, it's before your turn. It's part of your turn. Okay. It's part of the last player's turn. I don't understand why you fight me on it. Now it these doesn't matter. Like... But you know how I am. I do. So I don't know why you fight me on it. I have a really interesting cosplay of mine for my first armor build, but that's a ways down the road and a lot of money. Which, to be honest, I could probably start collecting at Gen Con. Money? No. Money, please. Money, please. Isn't that what your plan is, anyway? Hilarious. That's hilarious. Oh, I thought there was going to be another drop, and there wasn't. He has a lot of bullies. I know, I'm trying to make him get rid of them. You have so many goods. Give me these. What happens if you don't have the guys to fight? Do you just pass it? Mm -hmm. Then Elsa. I think that's it though. Mm -hmm. I think it's only the nurse thing. Okay, focus, focus with you. Yeah, I was Winifred once. Or this past uh, Halloween. Take it with no good. You are welcome to. No, you can't. But yes, yes can. because. Oh, yeah, you can. So 
so yo yo. You know this is a different goods, right? Yeah. Okay. I have different goods. Which is so she was sitting there and you wanted to pass me to get it, so why not? Oh, damn, she. Uh, you would have lost. Did you not have a guy? Did have a guy? Wait, he would have had a guy. Nope. I used him to bump Steven off the port. Yes, and you would have gotten one for the port. It doesn't matter because you still would have gotten rid of it anyway, but... If I... You would have gotten one from the port, yeah. but you would have a guy. You... If I would have grabbed him before, I would have tried to knock you off the stone man, but I didn't do it, so it's fine. Okay. Well, it does... No, that makes a difference. It does make a difference, but I already did it. It's fine. I know this is probably supposed to be runes, like actual runes. But if you turn it to the side, it just looks like a sad dragon man. A face. With X eyes. Oh, I was looking at this. Take runes. Face. <laughs> Take. Oh, that was. You also have your best too, by the way. Yeah. I did not plan this in my I thought I planned that better in my head. But I did not. Yeah. We are Board Game House. We play board games on the internet for you. Today we're playing Raids. We usually play, well, we always play Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mondays and Fridays we play regular board games. And the last Friday of the month we play Jackbox. Uh, Wednesdays alternate between our homebrew D&D campaign, Three Sheets to the Wind, and Legacy Games. We just finished up our Betrayal Legacy playthrough, which are all available on our YouTube, which is what youtube.com slash board game house. Um, and that's where our how to plays live as well. Um, we are getting ready to start our playthrough of Gloomhaven, which we're all really excited for. We are trying to get to 350 followers by the end of April, and we are at 343, which means we are only seven away from our goal. So if you all would like, I don't if you guys, if you like what you're seeing, and you find us weird, 
hit that follow button, all it does is let you know when we go live. And if you're doing it on mobile, it doesn't even do that. You have to activate the notifications. So, really, you're just helping us out. That's amazing. And we love you for it. Dang it. <clears throat> I'm losing so many things. You all are the worst. No, I'm just kidding. I like you both. <gasps> can't take him. I can't take him. He's alone. He lives by himself. I'm sorry. He has to swim back. Oh no. Do you want to keep it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I kind of do. However, this is called pizza cake. Pizza cake. And I just. I don't know how good a pizza cake would taste. Is it like a, a pizza in the shape of a cake? Or are you making a cake out of pizza ingredients? A pizza cake. Is there frosting involved? No. Is it, it a dessert pizza? No, if it's a pizza cake, it's a cake that's de decorated like a pizza. Like a pizza? Yeah. Okay. I prefer a dessert so, pizza. These two go away. I just like cake. I don't want. I don't. I don't want pizza cake. I just want cake. And with that guy. We had the. Uh, way that you could take it. Megan and I had Domino's last night, so I took some leftovers for lunch today, and while I was in the kitchen. Two of my bosses and another co-worker. Derek, you didn't finish your turn. Oh, you're right. You didn't. Oh. Uh, I just pop it with you. Okay. Um, and while I was heating up my pizza, my, two of my bosses were in there and a co-worker. And I popped it out of the box and put it in the microwave. And we started having a huge conversation about what our favorite pizzas were, like pizza places. Meanwhile, my direct boss was making black beans and quinoa, because that's all she can eat on her current diet. Uh, her boss was making grilled chicken, and the other, the co-worker, was having one of those healthy diet snack packs, those one-up jobs, and uh, I felt like a fat bastard. Hey, and Froggy. What? What? Well... well what diet is she on? I don't know. She's just on a diet. They started doing CrossFit. Is they... she or is she just still like, is she still doing, is she still vegan? Are she said, vegan? she specifically said to me, all I can have is black beans and quinoa. I think that's just her talking about being vegan. I don't think that has anything Probably. to do with it. But she can eat all kinds of stuff. I don't know why she was limiting herself to I think she's being just black season. beans with well, no, it with could no be, juice. It could be the, with the show looming. Because I know that they're super strict with their vegan ness. But they're not ones that are like, that do the whole like, in your face. Keep going. Steven? <laughs> I don't know that I can do... We need do... to put out the new thing out here. Swimmer Monsters. Monsters. I don't think I could do... 
veganism. I could I could do vegetarian, but I couldn't do vegan. I don't think. I don't want to do any of it. There's two. There's that. <laughs> So these two guys, my little piggies and my little sheepsies. Oh, I was gonna guy because of the port that I went to. And that opens up and get a port so here. many more spaces for me. And over here, two, four, five, six, two, four, six, seven, eight. I am good. So I'm going to skip that. I'm going to skip that, which means you can't have it, and I'm going to stop there. Oh, I have a word for you, and it's not nice, and I can't say it on the internet because you hate it. I might smack you if you call me that, so you I, shouldn't call me that anyway. I understand, and I have never called you that, and you I won't it. ever call you that, but I will call other people that when they're being that way. Take a goddamn turn. You have a lot of points over there. Yeah, well, I wanted to get rid of these sheep. I just wanted them to get off the boat. They're getting seasick, and you prevented them from getting off the boat. They have to stay on the boat now. The sheep don't like you either. They're going to tell all their friends. I sold the sheep. Okay. Number of monsters. I have three. Three? No, nope, sorry, I have two. Yeah, I was about to say, I got three. Six, three, one. Huzzah! Okay, what is this for? Oh, this is the last round. Uh, this one is the number of shields that you have. Do I get two gaunts because there's two sails here? I don't yes, that's remember. what that means. I think so. Yeah, it's a double shield. It's a double. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, two Vikings. Huzzah! Mm, I'm foggy. What's that mean? Mm. Yes, of course. I miss something. Oh, they're just they are talking about whether or not they could be vegan or not. Oh. Some Chinese said to respect those who choose or require the lifestyle. Yep. No one was being disrespectful, but it's a funny joke. Vegans, crossfitters, people who run marathons. So anyone that's healthier than you is what you're saying. No, no, no. People that do the healthy things and then... It feels like they're forced to brag about it or they lose whatever membership they have in those areas. I don't feel like I feel like there are some like that, but I don't find it as what much of a majority. But I think it's I feel like it's, it's more of a it's more of a majority on Facebook in the comment sections of things. Right. That's but like, where you really find them. It's to me it's funny. I I don't get angry about it. I just think it's hilarious that they feel the need. You know what I mean? Because we have a group of people at work our office partnered up with a gym that's right nearby, and there's a group of people that uh, it's gym. that some CrossFit gym, um, and they go on their lunch breaks. Oh yeah, I saw that. They pay a good chunk of change to go do CrossFit at lunch and then be sweaty the rest of the day. You guys should go do that. Which is a hard pass for me, but the other day one of the girls was was berating one of our other co-workers about going to do the CrossFit and Steven and I got got on her. We wanted to know, do you get like a free bumper sticker if somebody else comes? Or do you get money off your membership? Because it was just funny because she was going hard. Maybe they just genuinely wanted them to go. I it was just a joke. We were just joke poking fun. Poking fun. Uh Megan. I genuinely want people to come to Orange Theory. Megan, you go first. I know I'm going. I'm thinking. One, two, three. Yeah. Again, it's not me being disrespectful. I just think it's hilarious. I think I'm going to go here. One, two, three, four. I didn't realize all these things were in a row.
definitely not for everybody. I respect those who are able to do it and like fully commit. Um, I did a really strict diet last month. So it kind of showed me that I could probably do it if I wanted to. But the problem is, is that I, I don't have enough knowledge to find the replacements for the nutrients that you need. So I would need to do a lot more research. Hey, 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 hey. Hold on. Megan hasn't actually going anywhere. monster. I'm convinced that all of these tenants were not out the last round. They were. Did they just get skipped over? The three was at the beginning and I took it. The two got skipped over and the four you took. Hmm. Hi, Rocket Funk. Rocket Funk. He's right. Whatever Honestly, it is, I'm sure he's talking about healthy food. There doesn't taste as good. Uh, there's some that taste good. I'm not, I'm not a huge meat eater anyway. So Brussels sprouts, really? That is strange. That is yeah. odd. Um, what, when we were talking about pizza earlier at work, one of the women mentioned cauliflower crust. And oh that's that's gosh. fine. I know people love cauliflower crust. Cauliflower crust is so. But good. I have no. It's not necessary for me to have it, so I'm not gonna do it. I love vegetables. Tomato. Well, tomatoes are technically a fruit, but I love tomatoes. I can eat a tomato like an apple. I've always been able to. I like artichoke, spinach, and artichoke dip. Tomatoes are the best. My uncle used to eat, used to have them like sliced up and then just put a little bit of salt on them. So good. Makes them less, you know, healthy, but delicious. And I can eat an entire container of cherry tomatoes in one sitting. I'll eat them until I'm sick. Just love them. I love asparagus. Asparagus is really good. I like to I like to broil um, broccoli because it makes it kind of crispy. You like that thing? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that. Crispy broccoli. Yeah, it's good. Ooh. Yeah, but there is nothing better than getting a um, tomato. Straight off the vine. Oof, so good. Cooking tomatoes with eggs is really good. I love tomatoes in my eggs. I don't know how many of you know of tried fried green tomatoes, but they're delicious as well. Fangirl asks if we can get more money from a regular sub or a prime sub. I don't think it matters. Uh, it, it's all the same. Okay. That's what I thought. I it's actually think. exactly the same either way. Um, I think it's all the same either. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all the same.
this is the next thing I'm going to try and stop using. What? Water? Plastic bottles? Plastic bottles. I was thinking we all get one of those Brita bottles for Gen Con so we don't have to keep buying water bottles and we can just fill them up at the water fountain. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right. Megan, your turn. No, it's still my turn. Oh, you're right. That's a good idea. Because the water was stupid expensive last year. Mm -hmm. Um, apologies, guy. I'm trying to make it to fish. Unfortunately, we have reached our um, limit and can put no more merch in the store. You lose one of your people. Oh no! Why? Because she literally has. Because oh. I only have three. Now you. Here's the thing, and this is what I'm actually looking at for myself before you do this. I think you can just replace one. Yeah, you don't have to fill the. You don't have space. to fill it. You can replace you this or this or this. If I can do that, I'll get rid of these. Yeah, bags. it makes more sense. You don't have to give it to that guy. I can keep my dad. I mean, you can't get anybody else, but. No. Yeah. It just gets discarded. Mm -hmm. And there's no water bottles for me to put our logo on in the in the store from the options of creatable things. So maybe otherwise we'll, they'd be up there. Maybe we'll just get stickers. That's not expensive either. Mm -hmm. Stickers and ribbons and stuff. Bigger stickers actually can get expensive pretty quickly. I don't know. Just, just see three how much, stickers. Just see how much it would be for Maggie to make his vinyl. Game. Oh, that's it's true. Still vinyl. We can do it. My sister has one of those Cricut machines where you can make the like window stickers. Red bubble can get expensive. Uh, okay. yes, I'm shiny. We are working on that. Stefan? We are, we are gonna work, we are working on that. Janky. For any of you who missed the announcement earlier, Steven uh, gets six, I get three, and Megan gets one. Leggings have been replaced with the yoga women's leggings. leggings. The women, women, women's leggings have been replaced with yoga leggings. I mean, I guess the men can get the yoga leggings, too. I don't, really know, like, I don't, men's I don't know what the size Other differences are, but so check those. Or just wait till Roundbrow gets his and we can figure out how they fit. Um, and then... You put the tank and the crop up with the BGH logo? Yes. So. Even worse. Push comes to shove, though. If, for whatever reason, they add something else that we want to put out there, I'll just get rid of the socks because they're not necessary and we can put something new up there. Definitely even worse. I got 35 points. Ooh. Cool. Okay. You know what to add up.
Oh. Oh no, I wouldn't have done anymore. Okay. I think that's it. I have my number. I lost, I know that. What'd you have? Like 36. 61. 58. How did I win again? 12 and 10 is 22, plus 3 is 25, 28, 32, 36, 41, 46, 49, 52, 55, 56, 57, 58. I won again! What? <laughs> I have zero strategy Nine, with this game. I just want to state that. 15, 30. I don't drink coffee six, tea either, but I do love mugs. Uh, 42, 45, 56, 58, 59. You felt, aren't you just healing up? 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 57, 61. Yep. I don't know. Dang girl, aren't you just healing? <gasps> Be careful! Well, she's going to physical therapy. You're going to get hurt at physical therapy. Oh, she fell down. Yeah, but you're going to fall down at physical therapy. They push you hard. You... You got to fall down to get back up. I don't think you understand how physical therapy works. I've never been. We're gonna play this again. Yep. Can we play the Game of Thrones game after? Well, that actually might be a good one to. Look at it's a funny. You haven't played it yet. Nope. We got a Game of Thrones game, so we're gonna celebrate. Do you want to play this one more time? Yeah, let's play this one more time, and then we can play the Game of Thrones game. It's actually it's it's a lot more puzzly than I expected it to be. Just like a Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Speaking of which, I have not, I've yet to watch Gay of Thrones with Jonathan from Queer Eye. What? He does, on Funny or Die, Jonathan from Queer Eye has oh, a show yeah, called yeah. Gay of Thrones where they recap the episode and he gives his... Hilarious. Opinions. Jonathan Venness. He's wonderful. I gotta go to the restroom real quick. If you guys wanna play the how to play, you guys can talk to the how to play so I can go get some lemon juice for my water. I mean, I can do that one up if you wanted to talk to people. Or if you have to go there. Wait, what do I know better? If I normally wear a large and shirt, so you're going to I feel like in a crop top. Um, mm -hmm. depending, okay, so depending on the way that you want the crop top to fit is the big thing. So I usually wear a medium um, because I don't, you know. I don't care what people know what I what size I wear. I usually wear a medium, but in the crop tops that I have that are similar to this, which is a box cut, I like to go up a size because I like it to be much looser on me than it's actually really intended to be. I'll say this as well. The crop top in there is a it's a t-shirt neck. It's not like a loose one. Yeah. So then in that case too, if you get it larger, you can then cut the neck out of it if yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. Which is probably what I was planning on doing. Oh, you missed it over there. Oh. It keeps moving. It keeps moving it on me. It's just a trench can. Just settle. Just set. Just sit. It's, <laughs> it's not an aesthetic. Yeah. That's my suggestion. You're welcome. And the tanks, they're tight tanks, so if you want it to be loose, also go bigger. Also go bigger. Because I that tank is that... cheaper than the loose one. I usually find that to be a good, like, thing when, uh, looking at online things, but I think if you look on there, they'll give you measurements. It's, yeah, it's got a size chart. So if you look at the size chart, it should help, too, if you know your measurements. I don't, and I always get wrong. Modifying t-shirts is super fun. There are so many, um, I haven't done it in forever, but there are so many, like, instructables and things on YouTube, on Instagram, on Pinterest. I pinned a bunch of them the other day, specifically for those t-shirts. 
Mm -hmm. There's like four or five t-shirts that I have that are too big for me to wear on a regular basis, but I like the pattern. Mm -hmm. It's a Little Shop of Horrors one that I have that came in their loot. Yeah. Loot crate? No. T-Fury. Random T-Fury. Is that, that T-Fury? Man, this one's too much for me on t-shirts. Do you want to rephrase that? Nope. No? Mm -mm. No? Yeah, it's your fault. That's my fault. You go on Instagram, you see that they post, you tag me in and you say, Derek, look at this great shirt. Adventure begins here. It's an Adventure Time shirt, Derek. I only tag you in things like once in a blue moon. We have an Adventure every, Time oh, shirt like, because literally, of you. Literally every time, I, I feel like every time I come home here in like the last like two weeks, there's been a t-shirt in the mail. No. Yes. No. What I miss? Um, me telling Derek he orders a lot of t-shirts and then him trying to say that it's my fault. How is it your fault? Because apparently I tag him in things. I said I only tag him like once in a blue moon. Alright, so are you going first? You're going first again? Because he's not. Yes, Thank you, Minamami. Are you all enjoying the music? I play the game, I don't care if they are. <laughs> well, all I said was hi, and you were to go straight into like Team Derek's boys? Rock and roll. Hello. In a 50-50 battle, I've won thrice. I know. Alright. Annoyed. Alright. You know what? Actually, going first in this game actually is not the... It doesn't feel like the best, but I guess I can't really say anything because I've won both times we've gone first, so... Uh, it's going to be axes, sails, and rings. What? Hey, logo crap. Yay! A fan. A fan. I have a feeling we know cough, who that cough. fan <laughs> Mrs. Valley. Cuff cuff, possibly meta mommy. Well no, Mrs. Valley was buying leggings, a crop, and a thing. Oh. So. Or maybe that was Mrs. Met Valley. Oh, it's Miss Valley. I got him no, confused. Meta I backed mommy. Him up. So somebody's Meta Mommy is also buying. Oh, everybody's buying sure, everything. I'm pretty sure it was Meta Mommy. Who Don't said look she was at you. Okay, uh, we won't look at you. Crop top and something else. All right, my turn. Yes, and the mug, eventually. <laughs> buying all the merch. We need shirts with team names. Megan Pig. Oh, he's not done. Megan Pig. <laughs> You said team names. I said team names and you said Megan Pigs. Megan Pigs. No. I get the piggies. Piggy, 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 piggy. When we get our tax return back, that's when I'll buy all our merch. Don't you owe taxes? Yeah. I'm not buying it. This is a joke. Oh, I considered on the ringer t-shirts, I considered putting hashtag and the team names on there, but then I thought, ugh, that's 
really specifying and what if someone buys one that they don't mean to and then it gets a, a just go to Walmart and buy your own letters, put it on yourself. <laughs> Iron on. Patches. OBG! Hello, welcome back. Although it says sneaks back in, and I don't think we made it very sneaky by calling him out. Okay. Teen, I know. Teen name. What? Your teen name. First name. name is your favorite soda, last name is your least favorite soda. I'm confused. What? Jones, you don't like Sprite? What is this game that we're playing? I don't know, Green Apple Jones Soda, anything diet. That's not, <laughs> anything that's diet. not how names work. R.C. Jasta. Ooh, R.C. What the fuck is Jasta? Jasta. I'm gonna Jasta. go here. Um, you don't like Dr. Pepper? Seriously, I don't really drink. I don't. I haven't drank pop. Peace on out of here. I haven't drank pop in. Holy crap, it might be a year. No. Yeah. I think it's been a year I since so. I've drank. No. I, I didn't has. I didn't drink it during My Fair Lady. No. No, because in January when you were sick, I brought you Sprite. That's all I drink. That's all I'll drink is Sprite whenever I'm when I'm sick. But like on a regular basis I don't drink pop. Like, I only get Sprite if my stomach is upset. That's it. Or ginger ale. Yeah, it's been a year. So where are you going to go? You can pass the monster for free. I passed the monster for free. I'm going to pick this up. No suck. That's the good stuff. Yeah, I don't want the good stuff. Let's go here. Pick that guy up. I'm going to... But whenever I was drinking pop, it would have been Diet Coke Mountain Dew. Yeah, Diet Coke Mountain Dew. Because gross. And get my uh, sale. Get my man. I used to. I, I loved Diet Dr Pepper too. I'm trying really hard to stay away from it because, gosh, that's so much sugar. But I try really hard not to drink it. Like I was telling him, I, I don't drink it unless... I don't drink it unless I have... It hasn't been a year. It's almost been a year. Coffee is gross. I love coffee. That's the that's the only time I I drink sodas whenever I'm sick. I just paid one dollar to you. I love coffee. Ways to know that I'm not feeling well is if I haven't drank my coffee in the morning. Because coffee is life. I love iced coffee. You just made it impossible for me to fight Steven off of it. I love black, yeah, black coffee. I had a but if I am off of it. 
had a vanilla latte with almond milk. And you're not gonna you're not gonna yell at him for taking that thing before it's time. Oh yeah, don't take Oh, I didn't realize. Uh. Vanilla latte with almond milk with a shot of espresso, and it was delicious. Can you put it there? That's adorable. Why did you still have. I had four meeples when I started this train. Nobody fought me when I was way back here. I picked up another one there. I blame you for this. Now I have nothing. You are the worst, you're the absolute worst. Nope, not your turn. Yeah. Usually it doesn't take that long. I don't remember how long it took uh, Glaze to get here, but the mugs, mugs only took a few days. What? Two people passed it, that goes away. Yeah. from uh, the Harry Potter universe. Specifically, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them from the movie. I just want to point out that I got absolutely nothing this round because these two Piggy. destroyed me Piggy. at every turn. To, to be fair, though, there's not a whole lot of points being given out this first round. Yeah, but it's stuff that can help you later on. I just get a tiny penny. I get six. Exits. Most exits win. I get a penny guy. I like to steal things. Cat skills. Have a good night. Good night. All right, Derek. I pushed my boat over the lane to get there first. Cool. Just assigning a narrative.
If you're new, we're playing raids from Yellow Games. We are Vikings on ships, stealing things from each other as we hit forts. Megan's giving up. She's tossing things. It's a good one. This one was released last year um, for Gen Con. At Gen Con, yeah. I think this was the first. Thank you. I will look. Yeah, um, Phantom, this is a great. This is a great game. We play. We actually play tested this one, which made, what made us want to buy it. Uh, Rocket Funk. We are just going to be walking around. Um, just wandering the floor. Uh, we should. We are doing. We're, we're doing gonna, a meetup. Yeah, we are going to do a meetup. We're actually doing our meetup with Wormwood, with the Wormlings. Um, we're still working on final, like, things. Oh wait, that doesn't go to me. That goes to me. That's what I was going to grab. That goes to me. Um, and then we go here, grab the three. Yeah. So we we're planning, I think, doing that. I think we're doing that Saturday. We're planning on doing that Saturday night. Yeah, but we do plan on having, like, if you've ever been to Gen Con, how they have the little badges. It was the beginning of your turn. Badges. It was the beginning of your turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it operated uh, when I was We'll have the again. little, we're going to have the little, uh, what do they call it? I can never remember. Uh, ribbon. Badge ribbon. Badge ribbon. That's badge what I was ribbon. about to say. Yeah, we should have the badge ribbons. So I get a three, but you were in there first, and so that's why you get six. Correct. Well, no, this you're in the wrong one. I would add six anyways, and actually she gets three, and you get one. This is for Axis. the axes. Weapons. Um, and Phantom Ganon. Uh, this is a great, we were just talking this about. This is not doing so hot. <laughs> We've just been uh, getting or we were just showing off the uh, components for this game because they these are the base components that come with every game and you get metal coins with it if you're a um, component, you know, snob. Com component snob. Plus, this game's only like 40 bucks, or at least it was when it we was, bought yeah. it. And then the the pieces are like really nice. Laser cut. Yeah. Like laser cut um, wooden if you pieces. Like in that now playing command, if you click on that bgh on twitch.com slash raids, it takes you to Amazon. And you can actually buy it through our affiliate link, which gets us credit for that we sent you there. But it's cost you the same amount on Amazon. But it's super, it's a super nice game. All the components are really nice. The the punched pieces are like really thick. It's wonderful. Also, it has a great insert. I haven't talked about inserts in a while, but this one has a great insert. Ooh, that's fun. I've never been to Vegas. I have no desire. Gen Con is my vacation. Yeah, if you've never been to Gen Con, go there. We'll see you there. How can I have that many people? I had three when I finished. And you had one when you finished. I had three when I finished because I got I had two left. Because I didn't stop on anybody. I got one for him, so I had three when I finished, and I just picked up two for my sales. <laughs> Don't 
Do I, I get these to move on? We're a we road trip as well, so. Do you have enough space for all those? Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, three, six, seven. Nice. I can even get one more you son of a bitch. You can get one more. Oh, my turn. Oh, I, I haven't decided if I'm stopping there or not. Okay. Yeah, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop for the pigs. I got space. getting super excited for Gen Con. Like, super excited for Gen Con. Megan? Well, that's true. He fought you. I put one in there. Back right on up off my face! I'm not gonna fight you because you're gonna beat me and I don't wanna lose my guys. So we keep going. <laughs> Toss and Vikings. Am I here now? Can't hide. Where would you like to go? Hmm. Last year there was a burlesque show at Gen Con. Mm -hmm. The only reason I know is because there was a girl who was doing a Molly act. Mm -hmm. And I only know this because I was on either Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or something. But she lost, the flight lost her swords, <gasps> her scimitars, yes. for the act. So she, some somehow she ended up wrangling up something that she could use last minute. Because she was on, she was on the, like all of the, the boards like, can other cosplayers please help me? I don't know where I want to go. Um, but yeah, I mean, you have about a okay. month, uh, just about a month until you should have your, uh, until you want to have your badges bought so that we get early access to all the events. So we should be doing it in a bar somewhere, somewhere where there are drinks involved. I'm mostly not... because we pro we promised Polly and Bob Bobby we would uh, That's true. Buy, the drinks. buy the drinks. I met my I met my wife at a meetup. The meetup was called High School. Specifically, show choir. Oh no! Not free drinks. No, 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 no. Um, just for Polly and Bobby, and just one. <laughs> Does anybody else think that this sounds like the... openings from Kingdom Hearts? The words? Yes, I've been very, very specific when I talk to them that I'm like, I owe you a drink. Free <laughs> drink. Polly and Polly only. But didn't uh, Singular. <laughs> they get a drink. But didn't they also say that they would buy us drinks? So why don't we all just buy our own drinks? It's the thought that counts. <laughs> just Also if they buy me drinks you can get top shelf. <laughs> you get top shelf when somebody else buys you a drink. That's true, I suppose. Uh, I actually am changing my mind because I don't know what I want. I don't want to skip that many spaces. 
So, okay, for me, the Kingdom Hearts, like, openings will, like, forever be burned into my memory. And I'm still, like, super disappointed that um, they changed it. They changed them for the remastered one. Mm -hmm. They did the remix. The music isn't as good. I mean, it's good, but not... That's what we're trying to figure out, uh, Rocket Funk, is a place is a place to have it. We have somebody else in the community here who was, is helping us try and find who's, who's yeah, also Billy's local. Billy's also local there. Um, what we're trying to find is some place that has enough space, probably 30 or so people to meet up. Um, don't understand that, but okay. you're trying to get five points to kill the Kraken. I have three here. I can kill it right now without trying. That's fine. You spend your people to do that, but it made no sense. I get the rune! Can we go here? I am not going to win this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to kill the Kraken for two. two and marbles on the Yeah, it's right for you. I was making sure that he was paying attention. Yep. So I killed the Kraken. I think we both have it I'm going to go here. Get I already won, points. so I'm alright. I'm going to go here, get another meeple. I don't want to be greedy. I mean, I appreciate that. Um, and then I'm going to go here. Okay, I get this. You went so far ahead. So far away, and I'm thinking... Well, yeah, I mean, if you have, oh, anyways, what we're looking for as far as a good bar, we're looking for something that's going to have, like, hold about 30 people that has a pretty open floor plan, but that isn't going to, like, feel like they're just shouting at each other. Like, we don't want something that's going to be too loud, either. We don't want a club. Like, a... <sighs> Not necessarily a hole in the wall, but, like, one of those, like, low-key, like, bars. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, this Are you in our Discord, Rocket Funk? Rocket if you Punk. are, drop it into drop it into um well, if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. Yeah, if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. We have a Gen Con channel. We do have a Gen Con. Drop a link to the place in the Gen Con uh, channel. Thank you, Sunshiny. Maybe one of the mods can grab it and put it in the Discord, maybe in Mod Squad or something. Can I help you out, Derek? All right. Don't replace that one. Replace one of your other things. Replace hey, there we go. No, replace one of your sales. No, because that still gives you three sales. That counts as two sales. Let me double check that. I'm not sure that it does for the um, those. That's what I thought. It says it somewhere. Oh, yeah. This sale counts as two sales for the sales. Oh, the time? Oh. Specifically says. I, I knew thought, it said something specific about it. I thought there was a different rule that said... It's just about, okay. Well, then I appreciate that. 
Look at you guys being civil and helping. Oh, it's only round three, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I wasn't going to take the fourth. I appreciate it. See that, that little tone right there? See that little tone right there? Like when you're picking us all off things? Yeah. Okay. So Derek, you get three, six this time. I did get our six, so. Mm -hmm. Next up for my tiny pennies. The tiny what? My tiny pennies. Oh, okay. That's not what I heard. <laughs> it doesn't matter if I have a small dick. I'm already married. She already accepted it. So I don't have to worry about the women in my penis. matter. I don't have a small dick, so I'm not worried about it. <laughs> Fangirl's yelling at you, in all caps. She yells at me all the time. She does yell at you all the time. Well, maybe don't do things that deserve yelling at you. I don't sit in corners, fangirl. I am above that. Okay. Here, give me. I'll finish. Uh, this is the last round. Even if I deserve it all the time, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> okay, did he, did we post the... I took one too many. Did we get the link to the Discord? No, to the uh, to the bar. No, he said he couldn't figure it out. No, they he just, oh. they joined the they joined the Discord. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Cool. Right, Megan, you're an asshole. Okay, 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 okay. Where do I want to go? Where do I? What do I want to do? I don't know. Okay, well, I'm not going to be giving you any runes this game because you all are going to go after them. So. Thank you, Roger Funk. We will look at it. Hmm. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take these. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to take this. I'm going to go there. Okay. Oh, I didn't get reading your bar. No, I get three, three and I get two. Oh, I get one. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take one. Okay. Thank you. Well, I'm gonna do this. We'll take a look at it after the stream. Oh, and shut him off from the room. Mm-hmm. This goes away. Mm -hmm. Here, take my guy again. Go 
here, fight four, five, six, oh, just five. five. Eric's not playing. <laughs> Still beating Derek. I mean, I guess that's true, but I'm glad he fell off. Somebody tell him I'm glad he fell off. Kill the Kraken for two. Well, it's not the Kraken. It's a big giant. Well, whatever. Either dragon. Way, I kill it for two. That's a dragon. It's a dragon. Kraken is the last game. Go here. It's the last round. Get it three. And go here. All right. Yeah, they're doing their purpose now. Except for giving me do. points for my meow meow. Because he'll get. Oh, gotcha. Two points at the end. It's costing you three points to do that. You have four. You have three. No. What three. I'm saying is that. Yeah. Uh, it's your turn again. I keep this. I got a point. So I have four, Derek, you have four as well. Mm -hmm. So you get the six, I get the three. And maybe you get the one. I get the one! Alright. It's little. 
Try to add a point again. Good thing again. Uh, 12. Fifty-five. Let me double check. I had to do it in my head, so it's probably inaccurate. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty-four, thirty, forty, three, three, four. I didn't count that last time. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. One, two, three, four times three is twelve. Fifty-seven. Hmm. Yeah. 34, 44, 45, 46, 47. 47. Why did you go up? It should be 40, it's 47. 47? 47? Yeah. 12, 15. I'm confused. 16, 21, 26, mm -hmm. 32, mm -hmm. 38, 40, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. What? 12, 15. What? Thank you, my mom. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. What's that going? 28. <laughs> Twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-two, one, two, two, three, thirty-four, forty, six, fifty-one, fifty-six, fifty-six. I thought fifty-one. And you got how many? I don't remember. He said fifty-four. Twelve, sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, thirty-nine. Five times thirty-nine plus fifteen is fifty-four. If you want. Read a roll for Megan. With zero strategy. Ball sack. Alright, so we're gonna play this new Game of Thrones game. Game of Thrones. <laughs> I feel like we should change the music to the, <laughs> the epic one. I got it. We should stop that. Yeah. Uh, nope. I will say this. Not to start, you know, an argument. I don't judge a character show. But it has the the best theme song. And intro. And intro. It which, really does. Which they changed for this new season, and it's even better. Okay. Yes. Spoilers, I guess. But that's, honestly, the episode was great. When when we sat down in the movie theater and that started, that's what we got most excited about. Was the, uh... It was the new intro. New intro. We were all freaking the hell out. Well, it's like whenever I went in, because I hadn't seen a movie, a Marvel movie in theaters before... In like forever mm -hmm. before Black Panther, so I hadn't seen the the new Marvel oh, yeah. intro. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm gonna go back to the close about us while we do this. Hi. You what? haven't been close enough on us mm -hmm. the whole time. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Did anybody get my wins? I got all three. This is the first time I've won all three games in a night. Wait a minute, did you? Have you did you not do it because it's not Derek? <laughs> Favoritism. <laughs> I don't know if my other ones got recorded, but I don't. <laughs> Did you get Megan's wins, all three of them? So it should be at 46 now. You were at 43 last time. Was I at 43? That's what I, I thought. I thought I was pushing on 50. Oh, you might have been at 46, and now you're at 49. <laughs> it's all right. Tiny human destruction. It's okay. So she's six. two more. Yeah. Yeah. So do that two more times for all the wins tonight, because I don't think there's been at all. And if it has, the thing's wrong anyway. Hi, tiny human! Well, there must be a little bit of a cool down. I'm cooling on you. What? There you go. 48 games, Megan. I'm so close to 50. 48 is close to 50. Math. A lot of our friends have been getting up of this half of this one. Alright, so okay. somebody tell me how to play this. So this is Game of Thrones so, Hand of the King by Hand of the King. Fantasy Flight Games. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. So essentially. We are all playing as Varys the Spider, Master of Whispers, and each of us is trying to get him to get the different houses to support us in the Game of Thrones. In order to do this, you can move Varys up, down, left, or right, as long as there are cards in that direction. Okay. You, when you go to move him on your turn, you say what house you're stopping at, okay? And whatever that house, you go to the last one in the row and you collect that card. The next person would then move him from that space, saying what house they got. When you have, when you, when you pick up the last card of a house, you get the house card for that family. Whoever has the most house cards at the end Win. You will have to go first and uh, explain this to me because I have no clue what you're about. It's much easier whenever. Um, when it's actually set up? When it's actually set up. Okay. So I'm going to switch over to the main so we can set this up. Okay. And I'm going to get rid of this just to set you up. I know that you won't remember, but I'm going to tell you because you need to know. The fish, maroon and blue, is House Tully. I think there are three House Tully cards. I might be wrong. I think so. Uh, we're not playing with the three-eyed ravens. Uh, green, well, it's gold on green, is House Tyrell. Okay. Uh, the ha the family words for House Tully is family, duty, honor. This isn't important, but I'm telling everyone on screen. Uh, house Tyrell, their house words are growing strong. Uh, jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. I'm trying to think who has the leaf them out. Um, House Targaryen, which is a three-headed dragon. Their words are fire and blood. House Baratheon, which is a crowned stag. Their words are ours is the fury. Uh, House Greyjoy, with the kraken. Their words are we do not sow. House Lannister, with the golden lion. Their words are hear me roar. And then House Stark with the Direwolf is Winter is Coming. So, as the cards are being randomly dealt, there's Varys. So whoever takes the first turn will have to move him up, down, left, or right. So from here, if I were to say up and then Greyjoy, I would move him up to here and take Asha. Okay. I would bring her into my group. Okay. This is great skill. Yeah. Side needs to go up there, but... Yeah, we just move these up to the side or something. Yeah, move them to the side. They don't need to be up there. Do you understand that component? I 
think so. More or less, if I'm trying to make it so I take the last of a of a tie. You also want to have the most of cards. You mean? Yeah. When you have, like, if if you were to have the majority of any one house, you would then get this. You, oh, okay. You so would so get the whoever gets the last one. Right. Gets the most of them. When you take the last one, you get a special card that allows you to do certain things based on what the card says. Gotcha. So these special cards are Sandor Clegane the Hound. If you would pick him up, you can kill any character in King's Landing. Okay. And these are going to get shoveled. They're all not going to come out. Hodor. Hodor. Uh, you can, if you were to take Hodor, you get to take Bran Stark from King's Landing and put him into your collection. There is Ramsey Snow. Uh, when you, get, he's a Bolton. Uh, switch the positions of any two cards in King's Landing. So if there's one that, you know, you would want in the future, or you're trying to keep somebody else from getting, you would switch it so it wouldn't be in there. So whichever way you, whichever way you move him. So if I move him here, I can take either this card or this card. No. No. When you go down, if you were to say Targaryen okay. down, you would take Daenerys because she's the last of her house down. Got so you. if I were to say here and I wanted to go this way to Baratheon, I would skip over this one and take uh, this one. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I'm not gonna go through all these. How many of these get? Put out. That's what I was trying to look for. Five, four, six. But anyway, when you take the last of a house, that's when you get one of the specials and you can use it immediately. Wait, can we? Six. Top six. six. Okay. Uh, it'll be easier for me. Can we change the music to? Oh, yeah. So the first one out is Brienne of Tarth. Uh, you can take Sansa or Arya Stark from King's Landing or any play area. So if you were to grab Lady Brienne, you could take Sansa or Arya from out here, or if someone has them collected, you could also take it steal from their them. Hand. Yeah. Next one is Jack and Hagar. He's a faceless man. You can kill one character in King's Landing, one character in any play area, and one available champion. Dang. So if you grab Jack and you kill someone out here, someone in someone's hand, and one of these that are sitting out. If you pick up Aelin Payne, he was Robert Baratheon's headsman. Uh, you can kill Ned Stark in the King's Landing or any play area. So you would find Ned and kill him. Shay, she is a prostitute. Tyrion was in love with her. If you have Tyrion Lannister in your play area, Shay counts as two Lannister character cards. And do not discard this. If you got Jack and you can kill him. Uh, Peter Baelish, Littlefinger. You can draw two companion cards. So two of these from the deck. For the record, um, it's not the, num the highest number of cards, it's the highest number of banner tokens. What did I say? Highest number of cards. cards? Oh, it's, ban banner it's whoever has the most banner tokens. So whoever has the most majority of each house wins. Yeah. So Peter Baelish, you can draw two companion cards, play one, discard the other, you're gonna draw them from the rest of this pile. Okay, that's fine, one more. Jon Snow, declare a house, so any of the houses, Jon Snow counts as two character cards from that house, and you do not discard this once you take it. So that's six. If you would pick up Peter, we can draw from this deck. All right. So when do you guys go first? Do you want to go? Because you won. Sure. I'm going to... Do they have all the names in there? Hmm? Are all the names in that little rule book list? I don't think so. Mm -mm. No. No, because they're all listed. Yeah. Just match up the um, symbols. Okay. None of the colors are really similar. These two are the only two that are similar. They're just reversed. Okay. I'm going to come down here and take Marjorie. Trell. Hide my dragon. So, my turn? Yes. So, wherever Barris is, you can't go down, obviously, so you go left, right, or up. You just name a house and take that one, the last one. You take fishies. Edmure. Fishies. <laughs> Lord Edmure. 
How's Tully? Uh, fishies. Fishies, okay. Okay, I'm going really? to go. Neat. Where are you going? I'm going to come right and take uh, Robert Baratheon. Okay, so Shadows Vigilante. I am in, in currently in this song. <laughs> I'm going to go grab Garland here. Which gives you Two majority, which means you get this. Other fishies. Actually, that's both fishies. That's both fishies, which means you get this and you get to pick a. Um. Now, when I do, like, if I have to take him, do I have to do it right now? Mm -hmm. You take the action immediately and then discard it. So if you take Jack and Hagar, you kill one from the board. One from somebody's hand, and one of them. Gotcha. Um. Okay. So. So, what is that one? I have Tyrion, Lannister, oh, okay. my hand. So you have to get Tyrion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to. Do something. I'm going to go up and grab Lady Elena. <gasps> Why? Which also lets me take a, card. take a guard. Which means... I'm going to grab Jon Snow and declare him for House Tyrell. Which means I get this. You are starting real early tonight. Starting real early. So Jon Snow uh, counts as two members of whatever house I declare him for. I declared him for House Tyrell, which means I now have three to Megan's two. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Cool. You're welcome. Cool. Because that makes my first two turns useless. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy. <laughs> Actually, there's at least two of you in here now. <laughs> you guys decide to, you're doing like your own little private raid of us. <laughs> uh, if you are new, if you jumped over from Wormwood, or if you're just new in general, we're playing Thank Game of Thrones, uh, Hand of the King from Fantasy Flight. It's a relatively simple game. It's about thinking turns ahead and, you know, collecting Playing the Game of Thrones, so collecting houses to support your cause. <laughs> Night, fangirl. Have a good evening. Goodbye. Um. What's your kitty dinner? What do you want to do? I don't know. Um, I'm going to. Go here and take Edward Stark. Okay. Ah, <laughs> Joa worms. Start from the Lannisters. Took Tywin. I'm going to come to the right and take Lord Renly. Okay, okay. King Renly. Which, I guess it's not majority yet, I won't take it. No. Mm. I'm going to go get Sansa. Yep. 
Magical Education of <laughs> Wizards. Is what this is called. It's obviously not the Hogwarts theme. Derek, where you get the closer? That's Thank hilarious. You. Magical Education of Wizards. That's hilarious. If you are new, consider hitting that follow button. We are only seven away from our follower goal. Seven zero. So yes, please hit that follow button. Seven zero. Seven. Just seven. Zero seven. There you go. Words right. are hard. Math I'm is hard. I'm going to... Yes, swine spots. Hmm. There isn't really anything I don't want. So... I'm going to go down and take <laughs> Pig Boils. Cersei. Cersei. I'm going to go grab Arya. So I will say, like I said earlier, I'm actually not a huge fan of the show, but oh, West PH21. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you for the follow. Ooh, the Mad King Aries. Sure. I'm not a huge fan of the show, but I really like the mechanics of this game. I like the puzzle aspect that is consistently changing. Hmm. Not what I thought you were gonna do, which is unfortunate. Ha! Jokes on you. I have no plan. T jokes on you. I'm gonna come over and grab Jamie. I'm going to go grab. See, that's why we got it because. I love Game of Thrones, and they love interesting game mechanics, so it worked. Also, I didn't know what the mechanics were when I bought it. I bought it because it was Game of Thrones, but it ended up working out for everyone. <laughs> it did. I'm going to go grab... Great joy. Mm. been waiting which gives me four which is majority sure is well technically wait, is it majority yet because you have majority there. but four is still majority gotcha I am gonna grab Kevin I wonder what the tie rule is. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. What did you take? Uh, I think. Mm -hmm. There's a new Game of Thrones deduction game coming out from Renegade. Mm. Renegade made some solid games. Oh, I think I read about that. Huh. Well, the problem is I know zero about Game of Thrones. So it's not majority. As long as you have more than your opponents, you oh. can take the thing. Oh, I was looking at tie rules. Uh, you have two and she has two, so nobody has it right now. I mean, I technically have... Yeah. It is your It's turn. my turn. I'm trying to figure out what I want. Is that guy in your... No, that guy's not in your thing, right? No. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Does that say anything about tie rules? Not that I'm willing to really look into right now. Now, what happens if a guy gets stuck and he can't go anywhere? Game over. Yeah, that's the end. Gotcha. 
Like, yeah. If he can't move, that's the end of it. Okay. So it's possible to not get all the cards off the table. Okay. The first game we played, we were able to take all the yeah, cards. Yeah, we ended up taking all of them. Um... I did... Really did take quite the turn there. Why won't you die is the name of the song. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab Rob Stark. Okay. King in the North. Okay, I'm going to go grab Greyjoy. Which gives you the majority. And I'm going to come down here and grab Joffrey. Which is the last, uh, which is the last Lannister, so you get to pick another champion. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hi, Kyle. I have a really hard time figuring out your. Oh, I've been calling him handle. Ducky in my head. Ducky. Ducky. <laughs> Did you come over and raid? Are you doing a personal? Uh... Private raid. A private, private raid from the Wormwood stream. Like Billy did. Hey, Librarian Liz. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, our Wormwood friends. Thanks for coming over. Um. It's D U Kyle X Y. Oh, I remember that. I remember that show. He didn't have. You loved that show, didn't you? No, I never watched it. I thought you liked he didn't have belly button. That was the one that you liked. I did. I thought he didn't have nipples. No belly button. Mm. I thought I'm that gonna was take. The one that you liked. Kyle X. I know. I never watched Kyle X. Y. I thought it was weird. Okay, so I get to. Oh, you watched Smallville. Sorry. Yeah. Nice. So you kill someone on the board. Oh, welcome here. Someone in someone's hand, and another champion. Gotcha. Gotcha. So I'm going to kill What are you going to do? I'm thinking Of okay. flesh and blood Is what this one is called We uh, Everybody has two Of what? Oh no, he has three This one actually works really well for this particular game, though. The title, anyway. So I'm going to actually kill... This guy. Viserys. Just because. Um, I'm going to... Kill this guy. And I'm that. going Take to... You have two, he has two. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kill Jon Snow. Okay. Which then gives Megan the majority. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get Balon Greyjoy. Wait, I don't know if you can kill Jon Snow. Hang on. I would appreciate that, but I don't think I don't know that you can. Kill one character. In King's Landing, one character in any play area. Note, after they are placed in a play area, Shay, Jon Snow, and Gendry cannot be taken or killed. Oh, okay. Huzzah! So. Um. So you have to kill one of those two boys out there. Hmm? No, I've already killed one something out here. No, one of these two. You already did. I already killed one from here. I was killing something from your play area. Oh, you couldn't have killed Jon Snow anyway. He's a champion card. I didn't. I just said a character. I didn't know whether it was going to be there. Um. There's, there's a lot of things going on. What happened? Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Um, Billy, I don't know if that works because. Reigns of Castamere has a very, like... Derek, what did you pick up from here? Uh... Bale and Greyjoy. Okay, put him back for now. Yeah. Cause see, now I don't know if I'm... Fight size princess! You went to that guy. 
switching. Crank it out to 11. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. If you're new to the channel, we So are... wait, if I kill the last of something, do okay. I get to take one of them? No. No one gets taken at that no. point? Well, I'm going to do that because I don't want to look at it. We are Board Game House. And... I mean, I thought you already killed one No, he put, a, he put the Sarah's back. back. Because hmm. I didn't understand. Now that we're tied, what happens? Because he keeps it until the tie's broken. Until the tie's broken. That's not going to be working, so I guess we keep it. I mean, it could be broken. All right, so the only thing that but I I'm can not do it there. is take Daenerys. If you are new to the channel, welcome. We are Board Game House. We play board games on the internet for you. Megan. We play Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Tonight we were playing Raids, but now we're playing... Hand of the King. A Hand game of, of the King. Game of Thrones game. I can't do anything. All right. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, you're probably gifted a sub. This way and take. Targaryen. Take on the first. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna go here and take that to make sure I keep that. Thing. <laughs> As we were just talking about a little bit ago, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you're new to the channel and you like what you're seeing, I grab Rick and Stark. Please consider giving us a follow. So. Because we're so close to our goal of 350 followers this month. Words. I'm gonna lose. <laughs> so I'm gonna go here and get breath in. You get to take another. Oh, I got another thing. Oh. Uh, Brienne lets you take Arya or Sansa. Elon Payne lets you kill Ned Stark. Um, let's kill someone. No, I want to take someone. I'm going to take this in. Would you like Arya or Sansa? Sansa. Mm. You just gave him the Stark thing. You don't get it yet. You don't have. I'm not sure. We have not broke the tie yet. Sure. Good night, Billy. I'm going to grab Shaleen Baratheon and Ellen Payne. Ned Stark gets his head lopped off. means I now have three. Which means I have none! I hate you both! And I take Catelyn, that's the last move. Now how does this game score? It's whoever has the most whoever family has banners. Most family banners. Which is Steven. Yep. So four. Steven wins. I win! I have no clue what I did. Yes you do. You took, you <gasps> used you, all the champions and killed as many people as you could and prevented us from killing yours. Okay. Do you want to play again? I like this game. Sure. What do you think? I, I want to hear your thing because we've talked before about um, mechanic versus mechanic theme. Mechanic versus theme. Because I'm not, I'm not that big on theme. It doesn't have to be an interesting theme to me if I like the mechanic. I want to play it. Um. So I'm interested in what your thoughts are. So I do think it has an interesting mechanic. Um. I, I don't think that this game. I feel like this is a game that could easily be ha, have that have been a reskin of something else. They could reskin it into something else. They could reskin either it into or. Else. I feel, but I, I feel like they, maybe this was not the first iteration. But it was. Was it? Mm -hmm. This is the first iteration of it. 
chuck these for you. Um, I like the mechanic. It's neat. I like the puzzle aspect. It's much more difficult with three players, though. Is it? Well, yeah, because you can't set yourself up in this. There's another component where we play with the three-eyed raven tokens, where it lets you consult with one other player. But you have to look at the room. So it's basically collusion. Gotcha. Oh, gosh. Rickon, Catelyn, Mad King Ares, Cersei Lannister, is it five or six? Asha Grey. Six, 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 six. Six by six, okay. And Ferris, starting in a corner, not great. Uh, Hoster Toad, Catelyn's dad, Rhaegar Targaryen, Ares' son. Aaron Greyjoy, Tyrion Lannister, Euron Greyjoy, their brothers, Rinley Baratheon. Sorry, I'll hurry. <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm for the game. I know that Steven likes theme. I was just trying to introduce him to the theme. The problem is, is that there's not enough theme here for me to get introduced to the theme. Yeah, it's not really a. So theme that means, game. so that means you can't hate it because you don't know the theme. No. Is it? No, I don't care. We just. It, we just, have to speed it up a little bit. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. It just doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't really work. If you have questions about the houses, I am very willing to answer. Okay. Um, you might ask, how does Aegon the First Targaryen fit into the picture. He doesn't. He's hundreds of years older than everyone else out here. Okay, and the things we have, we have somebody that immediately take another turn. Melisandre. We have Gendry. Gendry uh, counts as one Baratheon character. Baratheon. Baratheon. Okay. Call Drogo. Jason Momoa. Take the Darien, uh, take Daenerys. Daenerys. Killing Payne. Kill Ned. Hodor. Hodor, you get to grab Bran. Sandor Cogain the Hound, you get to kill, kill someone in King's Landing. This is King's Landing. Okay, I go first. Ferris is here in the corner. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mrs. Valley. Jamie is not going to get redemption until he kills Cersei, which is coming, but it's gonna. That's what it's gonna take. Nothing else is gonna get me there. And I'm going to take the banner. And oh, I'm gonna go and grab Marjorie. And take a lemon while we time. I'm not going to waste my turn, but I get to do something if I do that. Mm -hmm. What does Melisandre do? I immediately take another turn. Ooh. So you wouldn't be wasting your turn. Because if you do that, then take a banner. I could do that and take a banner a couple different ways. Yeah, 100%. Jamie's going to kill Cersei. One that you can't get. And then Arya's going to be there to watch him kill Cersei. How about we don't talk about spoilers? There's no spoilers. This hasn't happened. But 
if somebody didn't read the books and they're watching the show. Well, it hasn't happened, I don't think, in the books. Yeah, either. it hasn't happened, period. There, the book, okay, so the, it's purely speculation. speculation. Yeah, it's speculation. Jamie's going to kill Cersei. Arya's going to be there to watch. And then Arya's going to kill Jamie because she wants to kill Cersei more than anybody else. And then Arya's going to sit on the throne, realize she doesn't like it, and move on. Lena and then I'm going to take Melisandre, I think. Okay. If you watched after the episode last night, um, Dan and Dave were talking about, oh, you know, Derek? only certain people can ride Watch dragons. Me. That's simply not true. Tyrion is going to ride a dragon before this is over. I'm gonna grab Hostetum. Am I? Yeah, you and me both, Liz. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I know Z. I've, I've literally watched nothing of Game of Thrones ever. Mm, I'm not worried about it. I'm going to. I have never. I don't, I don't watch it either. Megan's watched two episodes the very first episode, and then the very last episode of last season. I didn't even watch it, though. I watched, like. The last like five minutes. But of you it. also saw the very beginning of it. Did I see the beginning of yeah, it? Yeah, you were sitting there watching the very beginning of it. So you saw more than half of that last episode. I don't think I sat there for that long to watch it. Um. Um. I'm not going to disagree that Gwendolyn Christie is great, but I will say that the two major characters that she's played in major franchises, I dislike both of them. Brienne of Tarth, I'm not a fan of in the show or the books, and um, what is even her character's name in Star Wars? Shiny and Chrome, Captain Phasma, hard pass, terrible. I haven't seen the the Last Jedi, but I don't I didn't understand Captain Phasma's purpose in the first. There's there's in the Force Awakens. There's so. no purpose for her character. Period. That was my that was my only issue. Okay, 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 okay. Bye, Rocket Funk. Bye, Rocket Funk. Okay. Well, we're back on Wednesday and Friday too. That's a thing. I'm going to jump into the. I mean, I like her as a person. Lannister I like how. Game. Ah, gotcha. I love how excited she gets about you know her fandom and everything. I just don't like her characters at all. Fun. And take the best one that I know of because he drinks and knows things. Tyrion is the best Lannister. Tywin's pretty cool, but Tyrion's the best. Because he drinks and he knows things. Mm -hmm. All right, what's Baratheon? Baratheon the stag. is the stag. With the... Stannis, Robert, uh, Renly, and Shireen. I don't know if I want to necessarily ask this, but I'm going to. Mm -hmm. What is on Shireen's? So she has a disease called grayscale. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot like... Um, leprosy mm -hmm. uh basically her skin hardens and it looks like dragon scales Ooh. but it eventually like it when you contract it it consumes your whole it slowly consumes your entire body until your until your organ, organs turn to stone as well and you die 
but it's very contagious. If you if you if you touch anybody with with grayscale, you get it. Period. Um, when she was a child, some traders came to Dragonstone and mm-hmm. traded with her father Stannis and gave her a teddy bear. The oh, teddy wait, bear I had grayscale, and she Sorry. and she held it to her face. I'm going to come over here. Take this one. Then I'm going to take this because of that, which gives me this. Mm-hmm. And then I also get to kill. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, but they were able to get a maester to cure her, so it just stayed right here on her neck and face. Gotcha. Um, he's not in the game, but Jorah and Tyrion in the show, in the show, Jorah and Tyrion were together and they. Um, we're taking a boat through Volantis and stone men who they have grace go over their entire body and they are sent to Valyria because nobody lives in Valyria because that's where the dragons came from and they killed everybody. So they send all the stone men there to live until they die. But they get very vicious and feral when you get grayscale. So as soon as they took their boat through there, they were attacked and Jorah in the show, <laughs> he got grabbed and he got grayscale. It is my turn. You went on a tangent there. Yes, I did. Good night, Miss Valley. Uh, I'm going to come over and grab. Hmm. What you gonna grab? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I think I'm gonna get. Really. about other houses but it's still going to be a Targaryen. Uh, doubtful. They are very few and far between. Also, they only marry brother and sister to keep the bloodlines pure. Megan. Yeah, I'm thinking. I only have one choice, so I'm just deciding which house I want. If I want Ned... Edward. Mm. She's very smart. Mm, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm gonna take. Not giving you the option to take. <laughs> Great choice. Wait, what is? What I are have you no doing? No idea. <laughs> you can go left or you right. Weirdo. <laughs> because you moved it there originally, and that's why I was picking up that card. Yes, yes. I was just trying to figure out why you were switching them. Because I was moving this to take that one. Oh. oh okay. Gotcha. Brand, or are you can take Shireen and get in on the Baratheon. Is Victorian? Yeah, he is. Brand. Derek? Yes, I'm going to come over.
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How was everybody's Monday? Mm -hmm. Was your Monday good? My Monday was kind of stressful. Hmm. Oh, Meta Mommy. Congrats. Now wait, are you talking about your day or this stream? Princess Sweet. Mm -hmm. Maybe. True king. I can do this. That doesn't help me. That does help me. I'm going to take Hodor and I'm going to take Brand from you. <laughs> it's okay. The next one you're gonna kill that dude, so it's fine. <laughs> oh no. Okay. I'm going to come up and take King Aries. Just let me pick a card. Hopefully. I'm gonna take. Um, I need to get my hair done. Well, that's good. That's good. Yes, everybody hug Meta Mommy. She gives all the hugs. I'm going to use Sandor Clegane, the Hound, to kill Kevin. That's a good move on your part. Go. Now what hands we all move to? I don't think there's a tie in. Um, there can't be a tie. Not even number of houses. There's six. No, there's seven. Oh, you have three. Sorry. Have three. Not to be a tie. Well, I guess there could be a tie. If four people if, were playing. If, well, no. If, well, if four people were playing and, or somebody, like, didn't get... Right, like one if, house, like, if for whatever reason both of the Tullys got killed, yeah. no one would be able to get this. Yeah. Don't take it from me. You tried. No, you... I wasn't trying mm -hmm, to. Mm -hmm. Sure. Rickon? He looks like a very angry child. No, he's just the youngest. No. Sansa. It's in this row. I know. Okay. Derek? Alright, and I'm going to. Sorry, this is in this row, this is in this row. Correct. Yeah. That is the one thing, it gets a little like. It can get a little wonky. Yep, there's an airplane. I'm gonna come and get Balon. Great joy. Alright, well I guess I'm gonna go get Arya. Aya. Cause that's all I can grab. Yep. 
Two choices. Mm -hmm. Rob? Have to go take it, right? Yep. Did not have a choice. Have to go get your run. <clears throat> Well, when you do the last one, you got. Yeah, oh, yeah, you get, I get to, to take a Sorry. You get to take a thing. I'm going to. I mean, until I she still keeps it. So. Yeah, but then you get it. No. Oh. She mm -hmm. still keeps it. She mm -hmm. still has three. I mean, would yeah. you the Brathians? No. You don't get to that either. Yeah. Fair point. I'll kill. I'll kill Ned. That's it. Asha's up there. She doesn't really matter. She's not going to play a part in the wars to come. Megan wins! I win! Is that every single game? Oh no, he won the first one. He won one. the first one of these. Alright. I won lots of games tonight. I won... Four out of five. Four out of five games tonight. <laughs> so I close. I won away from 50. You ruined it. <laughs> I really enjoy this game. So close. Because people have to talk about Game of Thrones with me. I don't have to. I can play Absolutely the game not. without talking about it. I have dragons. You could, but then I have, I have liberties. I you have liberties. I have a reason to talk about Game of Thrones, and you can't stop me. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. We can stop you. You actually can't. Yeah, I could just simply mute the mic and they can't hear a word you're saying. Yeah, but then you have to listen to me. And we still have to listen to him. That doesn't help yeah. us. I can tune him out. <laughs> okay. Do you have any last minute? Uh, Wednesday, we are playing D&D. D&D! &D. D &D. Uh, so, join us for that. If you're not caught up on that, uh, it is on the YouTube at youtube.com slash board game house. Also, you can just go to the, the link right there, which is vghtwitch.com slash d and uh, which will take you to get caught up. This is our Does it take, you, take you right to the playlist? I think so. Eighth? I believe this is our eighth uh, playthrough? Our eighth uh, session, I think? So we're getting into it. Maybe? We got a little bit of downtime. We have to do some things. Oh, yeah. We have to oh, crap. message Elda. Have to, yep, we do. That's a thing. I need to look at that. He said by tomorrow. We have a whole day. He said by Tuesday morning. Did he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the new music. Basically. We had a shopping episode last episode, though. A little bit, yeah. Um, hey, we've only had two weeks to do this. Leave us alone. <laughs> also, our lives are real busy. I d Some of you don't understand how much time this takes. For them. <laughs> I mean... I stress about it, but oh, it's just because she's working sleep. so hard. Five o'clock in the morning. Go Jeez. to sleep. Camelot. I wish Camelot was real. Um. Anyway, uh, on Friday we are playing Mexico, and then on the following Monday we are playing another game. It is. Oh, 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 Castle Panic. Castle Panic. Is that the one where the boulders rode down the hill? Yep, yes. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> what other game are we going to play? <laughs> That's true. This one doesn't even take very long. We'll play another but small game. We'll play another small game. It's bad. Um, Game of Thrones Hand of the King? And then, maybe. Yep. And then we'll do our first Gloomhaven. On Wednesday. On Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Next Wednesday, and then it is Wait a minute. the is last Friday Jackbox? of the Jackbox? month. So that will be Jackbox. How is it 9.40 p.m.? Are you on the ocean? Are you in Iceland? Greenland? How are you only one hour ahead of us? Good night, Lance. Wait, you're, you're, okay, you're, you're doing the wrong way. You're going the wrong They're way, buddy. Us. No. 9.40 p.m. They're behind They're us. in central time zone. Oh, boo, hiss. 
<laughs> Let's refer back to the clip that says, time I don't zones. know how time zones work. Time zones are hard, man. Time zones are weird. <laughs> All right, it's not as cool. <laughs> Just, I mean, you're living in like Indiana or something. Nobody cares. We do care. We do I mean, care. we care, but it would be so much cooler if you were in Iceland. Anyway, you can't tell me that living in Iceland is not cooler than living in the United States. There is no place in this country where it would be cooler than living in Iceland. And then, not this Monday, but next Monday after Jackbox, we are playing Galaxy Trucker. Hawaii. And then after that, it's I It's the believe. only place that would be cooler than living in Iceland. Friday. There's a lot of places in this world, you know next that, right? Next Friday. I'm saying, but l cooler than the United States of America. Yes, there are a lot of cool places in this world. No, I'm talking about in the United States. What is one place cooler in the United States? Than Iceland? Yeah. Uh, okay, what about Iceland so cool to you? The landscape, the culture, the Vikings were there. They're not there anymore. But they were there, the history. Colorado, maybe. The mountains and the views. We don't have time for this. I'm we not love you wrong. guys. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Have you it's ever been to the Grand thinking. Canyon? Can... I have not been to the Grand Canyon, but it would be cool. But what else is there? A river, donkeys. It's not Iceland. There's no glaciers. There's rocks. Alaska has glaciers. Oh my god. Alaska has a glacier. It's fine. You can have your opinion. If you want to think Iceland is cooler than anywhere, you can think Iceland is cooler than I anywhere. I do think that. Ah, oh, librarian Liz. Sunshiny, thank Sunshine, you. Sunshiny, thank you for the gifted sub. Okay, love each other. What happened to peace? Just we'll see you guys. That was it. Okay, yeah. I guess. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. I'm Have a lovely evening. I was trying to do announcements, but okay, Go bye. Go for it. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I was fine. It's fine. Make an announcement. Bye. Make an announcement. I'm not going. I'm not. Going, we're, we're staying live. Nope. Nope. It's fine. Just keep going. All right. Good stream. <laughs> Just turn it off. Bye, guys. We'll Whatever see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.